in the team tournament, the Ultimate Schmodown Team Tournament 2018. The theme is anarchy. 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 How the fuck is everybody doing, you saucy sons of bitches? <laughs> it is. It is Tuesday morning on Collider Live. <laughs> Why the, the nice intro is because oh, we are man. joined by Sinead DeFries, Instagram model. She is a wrinkled shirt extraordinaire. Oh, I mean, my God. I is, can't believe she showed up in this shirt, Christian. And disgusting. she showed up early. She I know. She like us. But she asked us. She said, can you curse? And, I, and Ryan Snelling does not like when you do the joke. When you say, fuck yeah. So instead, uh, I said, welcome. Welcome to Collider Live. Everybody, and Sinead DeFries, welcome. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks, guys. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Thank you. Everything good? Everything's grand. <laughs> yeah, good. I feel a little betrayed, but I mean, it's Why fine. are you betrayed? Everything's good? I straight up asked you. I get real nervous yeah. when I have to censor myself. So I asked you, like, what is the vibe? Should I Do I have to make sure that I'm not swearing at all? You said we need to keep it as Disney as possible. Right. Yeah. And do you? So then I'm like, okay. How long have you and I worked together? I know, but I was just like, all right, I haven't been on this show. I need to right. be respectable. But do you do you know that I'm most likely not going to tell you the truth yes. so I, that way I can make you do yes. a moment like that? Yes. Right. And I feel like if you can't tell that we're sarcastic 99.99% of the time. Yeah, that's true. Um, how are you doing? I'm great. Yeah, you, things you are good. I'm, I'm exhausted. You're exhausted. Oh and, you know, and there's only one thing. That, I mean, besides, you know, you get a little older, but still. Sure. But n normally, it takes it takes a lot to, to exhaust a wild man. And yeah. there's only two people I know that can really exhaust you. And who are those people? My parents. Your parents. <laughs> yeah. Um, they were they were in for a little bit, and they were they were very, very pleasant, lovely people. I didn't yeah. get a chance to meet them before because I was supposed to go to your wedding. Right. You know, I couldn't do it for the uh, you know, birth of my second child. Right. Obviously. Congratulations. Good excuse. And I still give my uh, my one year old shit for that. <laughs> yeah. so, um, good. 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 But um, so what, 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 why were this exhaustion? No, you got to entertain. All you got to entertain. Yeah. Here's the thing. I love my parents. They're amazing, amazing people. Uh, they, um, you know, they just traveled around the, the traveling Makuga Circus all week. Uh, my mom came in and shot the episode of Josh Brady with us. It was Aww. hysterical. That was good. And uh, you know, they they went to they went to a comedy show with us on Saturday, and then I did a set on Sunday. Right. And they came in yesterday morning to watch Collider Sports Time, and then we went to WGN America. But in between that, basically, like in between meals, you're just constantly figuring out something to do with them. I know. You right. Can, you don't get a second to. And does, anytime you have house guests, and right. especially your parents, because you want to show them now. Well, look, I got yeah, I got a gig. I'm doing this. Right. And you, it, it's like showing off. But, you know, we're not showing off but more or less you're proud of what it is you want Correct. to make them proud Correct. and they were very excited they loved all of it it was great you know but you're sitting around and I could see my mom kind of looking at me like really we're going to sit on the couch for like another hour I'm kind of like yes I'm right. exhausted I want a freaking nap it's a Sunday yeah. uh, but you know it's amazing to have them here it just it it's not so much it's the entertaining, but it's a lot also of like the constant conversation. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know you what I mean? You just want a break. Yeah. You, you like, do they exactly. like LA? They love LA. Yeah, right. Yeah. So that's the other thing too. So, so you, when you live in LA for a while, it's just, it's just home. Yeah. And when people are coming out to visit, it's like, oh, let me let me check it out. Let me right. see. Unless you're your afterthoughts host Jay Williams and you, you come into a place and say, Hey, how is everybody doing? And they ignore you and they didn't show you where the bathroom is. It's really nice. So that's a it's a great LA trip. Yeah. Oh, yep. Poor son of a bitch. My parents, my mom, uh, I said after the first time in the car with me when I first moved here that she would never ride in the front seat with me again because it's too stressful. So she sits in the back seat and reads or Aww. like puts a blindfold on because oh, she gets too stressed really? out by the traffic. Yeah. And I'm I'm not a defensive driver. I mean, I'm an offensive driver, and I get. I listen. Yeah, do I, you control your temper because you have bad road rage? Oh, terrible road rage. Do you control it with your parents? Uh, I try to. I started getting those stress balls in the car, right. and I got one of those like grip things, and it's helping me. Like, Does so it? I steer with one, and it's it's really right. it's really lowered my stress. I who has worse road rage? Road, I was just gonna say, who's, who has worse road rage? You or or Makuga? I, I don't know. I've been. Have we been in the car? Punch, we we have. been in the car punch together. Punch we have. I honestly think it's like. 
we both got to the end of a big bad in an arcade game. Yeah. It's Road yeah. Rage versus Road Rage. What do you mean it's... Road Rage though? Like you're getting pissed or you're like yeah, like you know motherfucker, you fucking cut well, me off. If someone yeah, if someone like, cuts uh, off, it's like it level. It, it's so they can be in like this mode and then like a drop of a hat, like you see the Incredible Hulk. You've known me for like, a long time. Screaming. I'm a very sweet. Lo- lovely lovable, person, teddy bear. Yeah, like how I get in the at car out the window, like at well, the I mean, next to you. Sometimes the window's not down, so you just kind of have to work with what you have, what God gave you. So you yell, scream, you you, you throw right. the Let, finger uh, up, and here's I a, still here's think it's Has Amanda it, like threatened to jump out of the car? Oh, before? she doesn't like to ride in the car with me. I yeah, still yeah. think it's more effective. <laughs> I still think it's more effective. You want to piss somebody off? Is if someone, if someone, if you cut someone off, or they cut you off. Is to pull up and just smile and laugh at them. Oh, I think yeah. I think that's more annoying than screaming. Passive a, aggressiveness. Yeah. I blew somebody a kiss one time, and oh. I thought I was gonna die for sure because mm-hmm. they were pissed them off. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. It's like that, that. It's like look, if I think that it's better, especially in the culture that we live in today, it's better to just kind of go and just drive away. I try, but, but I try. as do I. But I I like to laugh and point. <laughs> I think laughing and pointing to me makes you like my favorite thing to do is when someone like I, I do this all the time, and I did actually snap once too. Yeah, because this guy. Pulls off in front of me, right? And and he easily could have just put his blinker on. Yeah. So I pulled up and I go, <laughs> your blinker's broken. And he's like, he goes, is it? And I go, yeah, it fucking is! <laughs> and, he, and, and he went, and sweet life! I know. <laughs> yeah, I did that once too. Uh, you but, could try driving kids to school in the morning. <laughs> My kids learned all the words every oh, day. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, and then I hear them now. It's like, you know, what's this idiot doing? All right, okay, yep. let's uh, dial I, that back. I bit. did this I stupid that. thing. I showed, so bad lip reading. I don't know if we can bring it up. The, the most recent bad lip reading that they did with uh, what's her face, Riley? Have you seen it yet? The uh, oh. uh, wait, hold on, Sarah. Uh, the, I can't fucking get the, the name out for fucking Trump's lady. Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Yes, thank you. Can't get the name. Oh out. yeah. And have you seen oh, this, yeah. Riley? No. I oh, this but is I heard good. About it. This is. It's good. coming up now. So. Bring it up. Bring it up. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter if you what, what side you're on. It, it's 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 fuck. It's funny. Oh, Just I'm put, excited. Yeah. Put, can you bring the Can you bring the uh, the volume up to it, boy, so they can hear it? Yeah. Here we it's go. It's amazing. <laughs> so good. Watch, watch, watch. Okay, idiots, are you ready? Are we sure this isn't real? I just can't stand the faces of you people. Those dead, questioning eyes. <laughs> the one voice. Don't matter. Greedo? The Greedo. Name. What happens when I scratch a horse radish all over my face? <laughs> now, why would you do this? Oh, well, definitely gonna scrape it somewhere. It's a yeah, reason. You don't matter. Angie? Look. My beard itches pretty bad. <laughs> Is this because of my bugs? You have literal bugs? Uh huh. I think it's mainly bed bugs. You gotta go. Wait, is this about the bug? Yeah, it is. Stank? Stank. Yes. Yeah. When is the Roswell? Hey, you really thought I'd take your question? You suck. Hey, There's one person I'm on a show. Me. I mean, do you need to talk so evil? Uh, do you need to look like a stuffed baked potato in that Walmart shirt? Because you suck. Lanky. Lanky. It's been a whole hour since Kristen sat on my whistle. Did not sit on it. Oh, where's my whistle? It's a really important issue, chump. <laughs> yeah, chump. What about guys like me, you know? Like our eyes are really honest, but then our brain's got a violent virus. I could not it's... care less. Creature? Creature. Not tell if my There's a woman that she that. asked right Easy. after the woman. Is this the one? Let's see. And Sasquatch we'll... Steven. Would you Sasquatch. rub my feet if I tickled yours? These guys You're are weird. so nah. talented. Nope. I love them. Wait, hold on. Not even fun Don't turn tickles? it off yet. There's one more thing I want to show. What shoot. is that? Listen, I'm going to punch you, and I'll punch in your esophagus. Great. Uh, chocolate curl. You yeah. know how I was part of a gang that made bed quilts? Uh, sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this one guy, Benji Binkelman, had this horrible breast problem. Okay, so maybe we'll just wrap that up, turd. <laughs> turd. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right, turn up. The reason, so I was, oh I was, so I was, watch, so I was watching that, <laughs> and I was laughing hysterically. I don't laugh harder than <laughs> it's. It's so good. And my my seven year old uh, comes over, and starts watching it, right? Yeah. And I was like, and in my head, I'm like, I don't, I don't know if this can be any bad language. So, so I'm, I'll, I'll let her do it. But then <laughs> we're driving her to school, and she's like, she's like, she called that one woman turd, <laughs> and, then she, and then she goes. She, I go, don't say that stuff at school. And she's like, she's like, I won't, but she's not like the woman who says, hey, idiots. And I'm like, oh, no. I'm putting, because my daughter, like I said it yesterday, she, she, we bought her four books at, uh, I didn't tell you this yesterday, yeah. at, at Barnes & Noble over the weekend. She yeah. read all four of them in a day. Damn. Like She's reading. She's doing all this stuff. She t- soaks it up like a sponge. And now she's, she loves bad lip reading. She uh, loves the, the Yoda song and all that stuff, too. I love those guys. My Lonnie little... called the guy a douche with Blake in the car when he was three. And he goes, yeah, douche. And I'm like, <laughs> No, oh, that's I, a good one. I, I caught myself one time. I said twat. 
and, oh, and, no. and v- that's my, a bad one. Too. That's a bad one. And my and I said it, and I was, and my, but my daughter at the time, I think she was like three or four, heard it and just started hysterically laughing, <laughs> not knowing what the word was. I'm like, I can't say that. I was in yeah. I was in church one time. My little nephew was like three, and I leaned over and I just go. And he lost, lost it. it. Right? Yeah. He lost it. Well, speaking of farts, Sinead de Priest. Thanks, guys. I, I love you, Sinead. I think uh, Roxy's been giving him some shit, so I, th- I think that he's now taking out uh, his his frustrations with the Roxy. Don't with you. Sinead can slug, Brett. You don't want to slug at yeah. Sinead. She will come back Tre- at you like Tread a spider. Lightly. What have you been up to? Because you, I'm not letting you stay silent. Because I know you have a lot to say. Because we just talked about the. Well, my my mornings are always like exhausting, you know. So it's like really nice to like just listen to people. Uh, no, no, not nice. not on this show. I know. Well, um, sleep, I've just Sinead. been just been you know being being you know mother of the year yeah. over here and just uh, knocking them all dead, you know, right. um, work wise and life and everything. Yeah. Um, but no, just. I was in Palm Springs over the weekend. Whoa! I think, I, I think my hangover will finally. Oh, end is that what it's about? The hangover. This son's a bitch calls me this morning. And he's like, uh, "Can I? Uh, can I not come in tonight?" I'm like, "No, you can't do it on the day of. <laughs> you can do it the day before." Sure. Well, I mean, at notice. least I showed up. You know, that's true. Well, he's here. He's well, here. I mean, well, that's... showed up. Oh, my that's shirt isn't wrinkling. My shirt isn't wrinkly. So. Uh, speak for yourself. That's a <laughs> Brett versus wrinkly. Sinead. Hey. The shirt is pretty damn wrinkly, I will admit. I can't see no all one, wrinkles. No one would have noticed I'm that. I'm just saying that you were. she was concerned about her looks, which she should, right? I mean, right. clearly hmm. not a looker. <laughs> 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 Cut it out, Sinead. Well, Sinead is here, and we have a lot to talk about today because there's tons of shit going on in the news. There's, um, there's barely time farts. There's... Um, there's, there's a bunch of things that we're going to talk about. Also, Brett Sheridan is going to be doing two segments today. Whoa. We're going to have him interview in the You're office. You're really again. giving him a lot of real estate here, and it could get out of control, Christian. I'm just saying. Listen. We all know what happened in the big short. We know what happened in 2008. The bubble burst, and then all of a sudden, we none of us had houses. Yeah. And here we are. We're giving Brett Sheridan real estate, and shit could get out of control. Yeah, who you know has got a lot of real estate in this that? version of the show? You. Oh, yeah. You've have you you've been a, you've had more table time in, in this iteration of the show than you did in three months in this, in this well, show. Well, I got to tell you, after my debacle in 2012 uh, during a Valentine's Day episode when I that? when I tried to shred you to pieces oh, with right. Catherine Reitman, I figured it took about six years to get back to the six table. years. So that's true. I am. That's true. Um, but, it, yeah, that was a long time ago. Right? Um, but we have, Brett, the thing was, I listen to the fans. Fans do like Brett very much. Um, I like Brett very much. I don't know why. Um, but we are going to be listening to him uh, talking to the audience. He's doing a great thing with Frank. We'll check in on Frank. Oh, and this is something I can break. This is breaking news here, too. We announced yesterday that the cops are shitless will no, no longer be happening. Oh. But we did like the shitless bit, right? Oh. So what we're going to do... Bye. Uh, what, we're, what, what we will be doing, we had a, there's someone else that's going to be taking over Ooh. the cops are shit list. It will no longer be cops are shit list. Can I guess who it is? Because yes. I didn't get to listen to yesterday's yes. show. Oh, wait, we didn't even announce. Oh, it was be, oh. yeah. You guys can take it. Who's guess. who's? Is someone? So basically, what the shit list is, it's going to be someone who has. You have to guess. There's going to be three people on this person's shit list, mm-hmm. and we have to guess who they are, and then the person will tell us in order what rank they are and why. So who do you think is going to be giving a shit list? And and it's inside the office. It's an inner office shit list. Yeah, and I will tell you. you know, everybody guess one, and I will tell you who is the winner. And let's have the audience start guessing who is going to be taking over sure. the shit list. Mm. Four cops. It's always the same person? It's going to be this person's list, yes. It'll be this person's list. Taking over for Copster? Taking over for Copster's list. Copster will no longer be doing the shit list. <laughs> <laughs> Sinead, who do you got? Man. Five, four, three, two. I say Mark Ellis. Okay, Mark Ellis is the bet. Hmm. Which, what, what, Brett, who you got? Oh, do, uh, do I wasn't know? even thinking about it. Good. Just looking at your thanks for being part of the show. I appreciate uh, it. No. <laughs> so I'm going to well, guess. Well, Riley had it. No, right, I forget I, it. R- uh, Riley. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with Frank. Okay. Uh, McCook? I'm going to say Riley. You're going to say Riley? Well, uh, considering he just guessed someone else, it's probably a bad <laughs> guess. And then, Brett, you got anybody? Uh, Fernandez. Fernandez. All right. One person got it right. That's pretty good. The winner and the new guesser in the room. Mark Riley. It'll oh, be Frank's, Frank's list. Shit. Oh, that's good. Frank's shit that's list will, will now happen. He kind of showed your hand there. I mean, it was like we were talking about Frank and, exactly. you know, so well, you so you kind of an educated a, guess. Did I? Well, yes, but no one else was educated. Oh, I didn't you're get right. that you're at right, all. Right. Went right over my head. Thanks for listening to the show. That's why <laughs> educated guesses are for idiots. But Frank will be doing... That's cool. You base your whole career on the Schmodown off of educated guesses. That's true. Uh, That's true. Frank will be giving his shit list. We will probably debut that next week um, because he's got, he's got a shit list mm-hmm. because people, you know, his office is right there. 
he hears everything, mm-hmm. um, and he, you know, he he's had enough. So I think that yesterday we were talking because he had commented on the on the channel. No one's asked me about my shit list, and I go, wait a minute, I saw. And I go, hey, would you want to take over for Copser? And he goes, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, he wanted to do it well right done. away. So he has no uh, no problem throwing anyone under the bus, so it's going to be fun. He's also okay. such a demure guy. He is, but he's got a lot of personality. He really does. He yeah. re- like, when you really get to know Frank, and he's a talented fucker. He really is. He is, uh, like, the old, the stuff that he used to edit, like, whether it was the behind-the-scenes stuff, the videos. Mm-hmm. Captain he did, Learning. Mm-hmm. Captain Learning. He did Schmodown specials. He's, he's, a, he's a very... Um, very smart and good dude, but he's also got a nice sense of um, sense of anger yes. to him, which is I don't I like bug him. That's the thing. I, after the first time, I'm like, why are we doing this? He loves guy? it. He yeah. loves it. <laughs> okay. He loves it. I don't know if he loves it, but, but, we're, but we love it because it's a good bit. Um, but yeah, so we, we're going to be having Brett walk, walk around, talk to some people. We'll ask Frank a little bit about what we can expect from his shit list, and we'll find out whatever the hell everyone else is doing, and we'll find out who's not working, and we'll expose them. Um, and <laughs> we'll expose them. We'll be talking about, um, you know, so I Dorian Parks, who works here, he's uh, one of the younger guys on staff, right? Yeah. Kid hasn't seen shit for movies if they're not comic book. Good movies. thing you got a good job here. Well, no, I mean, look, he's he's socially like, social media. He's he, that, that's not his requirement. His no. requirement is not to watch a lot of movies. His sure. requirement is to know social media, and he knows it. it, and he does it well. Right. But when it comes to, he, like, and you know, you talk Marvel well, also having or DC. knowledge for movies to make jokes on social media is probably a good idea, right? I mean, it's good. Well, that's, and that's kind of the, the, the reason for this particular bit. Like we, Score. What he wants to do, he, he, him and Jack Hind also, they want to get caught up on movies, right? Mm-hmm. So I said to him, I said, did you ever see Braveheart? And he looked at me like I asked him if he could speak, you know, German. <laughs> and you old. And, right. So he, um, so he is going to watch Braveheart. We're going to also give, we're going to find out all the movies. Something else I want to do, I'm going to bring him in here. And we're going to ask movies that we love, movies that we think that most people have seen. And we're going to guess on whether or not he has seen it or not. Sure. Um, so we'll do that. And also, you guys get involved. Hashtag Collider Live. Do that. Hashtag Collider Live. Get involved in the conversation. Brett, you got something? Oh, I just, uh, I just want to warm him. That's a slippery slope. Uh, I've had a really great uh, time so far in the comment section because I haven't been reviewing m- movies that oh, right. people love. So uh, beware. Well, I don't think it's necessarily <laughs> about him reviewing it, though, as much as like, cause we're going to bring back Brett to the Future. So I'm sorry to tell you that. But, uh, <laughs> oh, but, no. but one of the things, though, that um, we, he, we just want to see what he's seen. I just want to make him watch some of these movies. But I feel like now that with Brett to the Future, now that you have a son that's going into sixth grade, that was when my, my parents finally like took the governor off the gas pedal and like, watch yeah. whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Right. Sixth grade, let him watch whatever you want. You guys can watch it together. It's going to be a bonny experience for father and son. You know, there's so many movies out there that your kid should be watching. Yeah, well, I do want to start the uh, the whole X-Men thing with yeah. him and I want to, there's a list, right? There's a list of order because oh, I've did X-Men, it all yeah. over the place. So yeah, that's yeah, something yeah, you gotta I want to start from The first yeah. one's from 2000. There's some you can skip. But for the yeah. most part, you can get into it. Don't listen to Ethan Hawke. Dope. <laughs> you know the dopey comments? What did he say? He's just, I like Ethan Hawke. I, I mean, I, I like him as an actor. I do. He, he said something about Logan yesterday, right? Mm. Clearly didn't see the movie. Yeah. And said something along the lines that it's not a real movie or it's, just, it's, it's still a superhero movie at its core. And it's like, it's... It, it's it, sure. No, but, but, but the, way, the, the comments movie, that he made... Awesome. The comments that he made is like, it's not like a real... He came up very pretentious. Uh, guys and in tights. Something along like, those yeah. lines. Yeah, Shocking. Like, a guy that made a, a trilogy about an evening in Paris is going to be pretentious. Yeah, but it's just like, come on. It's like, come <laughs> on. Yeah, yeah, break. <laughs> yeah, it's like, come on. Who was that? Who Go was, back to Reality Bites. Who, what was that sound clip? Was that Fuck anything? off. Dude, That's that, got to be Roxy. Don't look at me. That wasn't me. Is that Roxy? That's Roxy. Fuck off. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It was Roxy Beardo? Yeah. Okay. Or a parrot. Uh, or a parrot, <laughs> even even so. So then, so now, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna f- bring Dorian a little later. We'll have a little contest to see what he's. Love so think idea. about some movies that you think that everyone probably saw, like Back to the Future is one. You assume that he had seen it. I don't know if he's seen it. That's the one I'll throw at him, and we'll see if he's seen What's it. What's it? How old is he? Roughly, he's like, I think he's 23? In early twenties, twenty to twenty three, something along those lines. So still got his whole life ahead of him. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I know our, us sad sacks that we are, but um. And then we're going to send Brett to the movies. We're going to send Brett to the movies later, and we're going to send him to the theater. He's going to do what we did last week. He's going to go up to people and ask them what movie they're going to see, and we're going to bet to see what it is. We're going to put some cash on it this time, so we'll have our Man, our dollars ready to go. Anytime you involve gambling, get me involved. That's I know. That's, that's how. That's the only reason I wanted to get you invested to put some money in it. I swear, like when we first started talking about the Schmodown, after the first and second incantations at After Buzz, right? Yeah. When you started the league, I was like, "Can I start like a gambling aspect of this?" And you're like, yeah. "No, you can't start a gambling aspect." <laughs> Of it. It's illegal. Like, uh, well, I 
if I do it like an under? No. Nope. Okay, yeah. fine. I know, and I'm sure you probably did, you know, did it like Snyder, like Snyder did, uh, he, yeah. where he was submitting questions for himself. You were probably betting it on the outside in Vegas. Dead. I love gambling. It's amazing. I'm like borderline like an addict. Are you? Do you go to oh, Vegas yeah. a lot? It's called a degenerate. What? A degenerate gambler. Really? Yeah. yeah, no, I have like, I if I could gamble for the rest of my life, I probably would. Awesome. Yeah? Do you go to Vegas I really a lot? enjoy it. No, but I do like all the online gambling, oh, like yeah. gamble like my own what's money. The most, what's the most you've gambled on one thing and what? And on what? Like, like online no, like, poker? Online It's like the, those types of sites, Ooh. but it's like every, they have everything. Wow. Nice. What's the most you've won? $4,000. Wow. Whoa. Most you've lost? Probably like... Well, I mean, it's like after you get yourself up, you know, then yeah. you lose it back down. Well, but that's not, that's just breaking even. Right, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I don't, Go I have push. never really been out over maybe like three, three, four hundred bucks. Oh, wow. Well, that's wow. why you still like gambling. That's yeah. why exactly. I still like it. Yeah. Come to Vegas with me. We'll get yeah. weird. Go to Vegas. <laughs> um, so then, then finally, we're going to do, uh, like I said, we're going to do those, those, those things with Brett. You guys can get involved too and have some fun. And we want to, we'll ask a couple questions. Maybe we'll take a couple phone calls. I don't know. But, Riley just ran out the door and I was going to ask him about movie news, but that's <laughs> it's great. It's great that he left. Um, at ten thirty, it's on the docket to talk about movie news, and Riley is there goes the gone. Producer. Perfect. <laughs> Love that he's gone. So, Riley, tell us about the latest in movie news. Yeah. Oh well, there was a guy named Peter, and he's in this movie, uh, uh, right. Old Ricketts McGee. Uh, <laughs> you know, I might have a good reason for walking out. Oh, re- what happened? There was no internet in here. Oh, so, so yeah, so I had to go reset. And okay, good. But we're still on. We're still live. Uh, the stream is is fine, thankfully. Great. I just okay. can't get uh, into anything Holy right problems. now. So we can't. So you can't check the news. Uh, I know the news, okay, so good. I can I can try to. Uh, like Dominic, th- uh, you want to start? Are we starting? Uh, sure. Okay. Dominic Monaghan. Heard of him? You've heard of him? I heard of him. He's going to be in Star Wars Episode Nine. Whoa. Yeah. Well, you kind of talked about that on one on one. Yeah, I, I watched that little clip. Yeah, I had him on one on one, and I knew. I mean, he's been friends with JJ for a long time, and since Lost and everything too. So we we brought it up and. Um, he said on the on the clip, you can, you can watch it. But he he had said that I think I said to him, "Hey, do you call JJ up and do you say, hey, let me uh, let me go, come in hey, there and Jage. Oh yeah, because they hang Jage. out. They, they, they they're like J Square. J Square. What's I, up? I, I think he said something along those lines. I think he does call him something like that. But but anyway, he <laughs> he. I was like, do you say, hey, let me come in and read? And he. What I like about Dominic Monaghan, what I noticed about him is. I don't want to say arrogant. That's not the right word. But he's he's over. He's very confident. Okay. He's very confident. You can tell. You can also tell that's why he was probably dating in, uh, Evangeline Lilly for so long too. Yeah, but, yeah. but he's but he's a very confident, cool dude. And when I asked him, well, "Do you want to go in and, and read?" He's like, "No." He was like, "I said, what do you have that's worth my while?" Uh, and I, that's what a fucking baller yeah, answer that is, yeah. you know. And I was and I and he. And then you could tell he was kind of skating. Really, he, he's a big Star Wars guy. I mean, he loves Star Wars, mm-hmm. and he has and he had his thoughts about certain episodes. We talked about a little off air more about more candid thoughts that he had about the some of the fr- stuff in the franchise. And he's he's like a real fan. So I think this is a great a great casting. I don't know what the hell he's going to play. I hope it's a bigger role too. I hope because I think he's I a very it's not talented. Just like one of these, I like, stick me in a stormtrooper mask and it's a fun right. cameo. I don't think so. I don't think he okay. would take that. Okay. And from from talking to him, like if I didn't have that conversation with him, I would be worried about the same thing gotcha. too. Um, like like even Simon Pegg, right? Simon Pegg had a, had a nice little role right. to where he he was a Uncar plot in in Episode Seven, but he didn't even know I don't it was feel him. like if it was a real role that they would have released it this early. Right. So like, remember how many cameos there were in the last one? Yeah, yeah. You're saying if it wasn't a real role? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they would, they usually that kind of stuff only came out like a couple weeks. Like, oh, by the way, this person's in it. This person's in it. Right. I, lo- I love, I love, and other people. You I know? love that he's in it. I think that again because of look at his work on whether it was Lost. I just want to check the show he was on real quick. Yeah, uh, it was called Lost. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> it was more, more recent. Yeah, no. It was on WGN America. I think it was I called know. Source Code. That's the one that you came. Yeah. That's Source Code, but that was the one he came in to talk about. Right. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he the was hundred, played, he, he the played, hundred Code. Yes, he played the cop. Yeah, it was yeah, really he good. He played a New York cop, yeah. and he uh, that's that's why he came in to promote that show. But um, he is now yeah he is now going to be in episode nine. I hope they give him a good role. I wouldn't. He could play villain. He could play. Uh, you, you know, look, maybe he's a, maybe he's the second Snoke apprentice. You know, who knows? I would love to see him do something cool. He does have a villainous look. Like he, could he can be. be a villain easily, you know but he could I mean? also be a hero. Yeah. I mean, he's done it in Lord of the Rings. He did it in in Lost. He there's and he, the other thing is what I, this is what I like about J.J. Abrams. Though, I'll tell you that is that he very similar. We were talking about this last time you were on with mm-hmm. the, the Adam Sandler model. Yeah, you take care of your friends when your friends are talented and when you when you can be, want to be around good working people. And he's done that. He's done that with Greg Grunberg. He's done that now with with he did it with Dan Mindel, who's his director of photography. He he surrounds himself with the team that he's comfortable with, and I, I like that. So he does. where the hell is Matthew Fox? 
I don't know if they're that close. And oh. I can tell you right now that him and uh, Dominic Monaghan are not close. Oh. You, you guys know what happened to me like three months ago? Why For some reason, I like had a mini, I don't even know. I confused myself so bad because I thought that Star Wars was coming out this December. Right. And just, just like one day where I was like, so hyped on it because I was talking to my friend about just what movies were left for the year. Episode and, nine you thought was coming out? Yes. Yeah. And I was like, oh, but oh my God, like Star Wars comes out. And then um, I went the whole day like thinking about Star Wars coming out because I was like, oh my God, this is what I needed because there's really not a lot of good movies left for the year. A couple, but like yeah. nothing, nothing like really strong. So I was like, oh my God, this is what I needed. And then like at nine o'clock that night, I was like, like getting ready for like the day the next day and I realized I was like wait a second it's 2018 yeah. Yeah. like Star Wars doesn't come out and I cried real tears <laughs> <laughs> it was so yeah. depressing like so depressing well, you're not psyched for Fantastic Beasts 2 Colin Farrell's in this one I, no he's not in no, no, he was in the first no he was in the first one Johnny Depp. Depp. Depp I am actually excited for that that's, that's what everybody's the trailer looks really it. good but I mean not like you get excited no, like I'm talking hyped way. like I was sarcasm Sinead okay I'm yeah. sorry but I I agree but I understand understand though but the, but the funny thing is about that is that had it been the next Harry Potter uh -huh. then you would have had that type yeah. of excitement yeah. but it's it hasn't carried over yet this one looks I I enjoyed the first did you really I did I really enjoyed it I liked it a lot okay. and the I tried to watch it like four times you didn't get, you couldn't do it huh? I just couldn't get into so, it some people didn't like it but I, I I really enjoyed watching it and I don't like them as much as the Harry Potter movies but I did enjoy it and I think that the second one actually looks more so in the vein of of Harry Potter mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. this one does and I think it, it I think it tried to kind of Distance itself so much from the first to make well, it's it's in the world, but it's still different. I think you got to embrace the fact that it's that it's you got to go all in and want to mm -hmm. feel like it's Harry Potter because that's what the movie is. There's just something about Eddie Redmayne's face. I like when it's not Stephen Hawking, yeah. right? When he's like, he's like, oh, these are mean animals. Yeah. Like yeah. he always looks like he's doing something mischievous. It doesn't matter what. <laughs> and, and, some people have problems with Eddie Redmayne. I like Eddie Redmayne a lot. I do. I think he's seems like a nice guy. I know. And then, well, we had the. I think we were on the show. We had the, we had the pleasure of talking to him. Okay. Right? We, where we, were, we had that thing uh, on Schmoes. We were we were running to every single time we would talk to somebody, something big would break. Like right. Colin Trevorrow, he's on the show, and then he, he breaks the record in, in uh, Jurassic Park, right. Jurassic World, and then gets Star Wars. Eddie Redmayne just won the damn uh, Oscar. You know, just and then won the Oscar and Golden Globe right, right. after he talked to us. Right. But. I not just because of the conversation that we had. I thought he was a good dude and kind of humble. I like his work. I like the stuff that he's done. Theory of Everything. Um, the uh, what was that one that bombed? That wasn't very good, but I actually kind of liked oh, it. Oh God, uh, Jupiter Ascending. Jupiter Ascending. Oh he was terrible yeah. In that movie. I forgot he about was, that movie. Uh, and he kind of talked like this, and for some reason he would say, <laughs> "Dude, you sound like Dumbledore mixed with <laughs> you Gandalf." You really do. It's really good. Well, like, really Dumbledore do. goes more on a volume like this, and I can't. That, that was terrible. Do Potter. Do Potter. Do do Potter. like. Don't say do like Mister Vaughn. Mr. Potter. Yeah, that's really good. That is really good. Dude, that is you really should good. really you just. You shall not pass. That, see? That's better. Dumbledore. Dumbledore. But you need to you need to dress up as Dumbledore for Halloween this year. If you, when your daughter gets into Harry Potter, if and when that she happens. Is, yeah. She already is. Dude, you guys need to be I Potter know. people. You need to like go Mr. up and. Mr. Potter. Yeah. yeah. Do like a full before the banquet speech to your daughter before she starts eating your candy. I can get like seven words out. It's the same thing with my uh, with my fucking uh, Statham. I'd be like. Uh, I just wrinkly, no mate. That's all uh, I get. Oh, okay. that's I good. get that for a second, good. and then when yeah. you start trying to talk, well, if I scripted something for you, you could probably, probably not. Okay, <laughs> but, right. but I'll try. I'm I'll not going to spend the time scripting anything. I'm just saying. Well, are you are doing Collider Quick stuff? Oh yeah. So why not? Oh. Collider Quick. We can dress you up a little, little beard. Or you can just do some voice for Statham stuff. How about that? Oh. Check it out. It's like, <laughs> go ahead. And you know we got a we got a new show coming. You know, no mate. Get to it. Make a lunch of the day. Uh, that's yeah. That's all I got. Okay. I don't all know right. what that was. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's, it was loud. It was loud. And, it was loud and decent. <laughs> Frank loves it. It was good. I just made number one on the shit list. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. But you know the other thing we're talking about is Soccer Collider Quick and. Uh, you guys just launched the sports show yesterday. Mm -hmm, that's great. A lot of new things happening in Collider, and a brand new thing that we have that I don't know how many people know yet. Award season is huge for our business and what we do, and and we have a brand new show that we're going to be doing, and it's called For Your Consideration, and it's uh, Perry Nemiroff, Jeff Snyder, and the Mans Man Scott mm -hmm. Mans will be hosting it, and they're going to be going all through the award season. Really covering everything and give if you want to know because I think a lot of times what happens is, especially if you're not in LA or in New York, you get like what movie is that? Like I've right. never heard of that movie. What mm -hmm. they are going to preview everything so you know 
all the movies that are coming out so you can be caught up. I think like film lovers, a lot of times, my uncle, who is a huge film fan, didn't know about half the movies that came out because he, he and he's in New York. Right. And he didn't know what the hell was coming out. He didn't hear about um, The Shape of Water until Oscar season. You kind of passed on that one. You didn't love that one. Oof. Oh, I did not like that. All right, one. but anyway, point is, it, yeah. it was it got a lot of it, sorry, it, I, I cut to, it, but it got a lot of guys. <laughs> it's okay, it's a good movie. Uh, it's triggering. Yeah, but but Scott Mance, Perry Nemiroff, sure. and Jeff Snyder will be going over. it. They'll have special guests, and it'll be a weekly show. And if you want to get caught up on everything happening in the world of the awards, it's going to happen right after the Toronto Film Festival. They're all going to really? it. They're all going to see a whole bunch of shit. Mm -hmm. And Ellis cool. is going to be there too at Toronto Film Festival. Really? Yeah, yeah. Tiff? He's doing a couple. Of, I think he's doing a show. Oh, he's in the Your Opinion Sucks with Run. Well, he's definitely going to be doing. Nap. He's gonna go see. He's gonna be doing, um, seeing some movies while he's there. But I think, I think he said he might be doing a couple, Stand a gig. I'm sure you know him. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter where he is. He is. He's like, he's, he, yeah, he is right. Yeah, yeah. He, he, that's what he does. He, if he's got to travel somewhere, he, he does a gig, and that's Smart. what. A, well, that's what a real stand-up comedian. <laughs> yeah, does. correct. That's why I quit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to like, go visit somewhere. Like, going up. I'm going to the. I'm going to the living room. Yeah, you know, right. you know what I mean. I want to go watch the Yankee game and go to sleep because I can't do that at home. Um, but yes, yeah, so, okay. So Dominic Monaghan, everyone agrees. Good fit. Good yeah. fit. Uh, he looks Star Warsy. He does. Yeah, he does. Yeah. So right. Riley, what else you got in the world of movie news? Uh, movie news. Uh, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy three. Mm. Not uh, having some rough uh, things happening, yeah. and uh, add to it, they now put it on hold for the time being. Mm. Uh, so they sent all the post -pre or uh, pre production people. They had a small crew working, said, go home. You can go get another gig if you want. Yeah. So we're on hold officially uh, as they look that for. Movie, I don't think we'll ever get made. It, it is going to get made. It will get made. It just, this is a very, this is a, yeah. I think they're looking for the right director and probably right director. working with the the stars who are not happy. They're right. waiting, right they're now. waiting for the fart to get out of the elevator is what they're waiting for. They're waiting yeah. for, they're waiting for it's it to, yeah, they're waiting for it to stop, the, for people to stop talking about it and the people will because there'll be some other big story that people start talking about like anything else that happens. It'll come back up once, when you bring up Guardians but what I'm saying but is. But if the stars say they're not going to come back, it, it, do, do you, you think, think they're going. They're to, on contract. They're, they're going to go after okay. Batista because he is going hard. Yeah, he is. Batista. He is really going hard at Disney. Well, Batista, it, look, it's happened before. Batista can yell and scream all he wants about it. He's he's not the star. He's not the star. And if he if he he's going to kick himself in the ass if, if they right. say, well, guess what? You're you're not going to be in. They'll go back and chase Momoa again. Right. You mm -hmm. know, they'll get somebody else. And, and then, then they'll gone. sue. They'll sue the shit out of him because they're he, they're he's all contract. contract. Yeah. Right. But you know he's taking a stand, and you know he, there's there's part of it that you can you can applaud the stand or whatever too. But the the fact of the matter is he's under contract. This has happened before. Even you look like very different circumstances why the person left the project. But when Patty Jenkins left, um, I think it was Thor: The Dark World, right? Yeah. Uh, Natalie Portman did not want to do the movie. Mm -hmm. She but she had to because she was under contract. She did not want to do the movie. You unless. could tell. You can tell. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's but that now look. That's the risk they're going to have because may, maybe he's going to start phoning it in, or may, and then may, because of it, maybe they they cut some of his pieces out. But that's that's one problem. Sure. The bigger problem is for them. It's like this is a big thing right now, and they mm -hmm. have other movies. The question is for Kevin Feige and the crew. It's it's how much do we need Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three to tell our story that we're telling right now? Mm -hmm. Can we? Because Infinity War to me felt like Guardians of the Galaxy Three. Because it's all of it is yeah. in space. A lot, well, it's space, and I think that once they were in it, you could definitely feel that stamp of the humor. Right. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I think that this is something they needed to do. I think they needed to push to push it right now because they don't trying to find another director. Why can't they just get Taika Waititi to do it? Yeah. Because I, I, I think a lot of I think a lot of d d directors are kind of defending James Gunn on this one. I don't, I'm wondering what the Marvel queue of directors though thinks yeah. about right. all this. Like to bring in Watiti, you know, everybody's friends there. Like all right. the directors show up to all these things, and right. so. But I, I'm wondering what it is. He turned in the script. We were talking yeah. about this. Earlier. He's still getting credit for the script. He's still is he? Is or he? I are they, he, was. he is. Yeah. He is. Well, they say they're they're using it, or I, I don't think Disney's actually confirmed that. Or okay. Not. I'm starting to wonder if they're gonna like. Scrap some of the script. And Try just start to like, from from scrap. Maybe, I mean, maybe. I mean, I would I would hate to see that happen to James Gunn even more. Yeah. Um. But that's what when I when I hear that you know go home no more uh, mm -hmm. pre production look that's for maybe, other work is look what for makes other work nervous. that yeah. was it, you know that's I think, where I go what's the script they put it in the back burner because the other we'll thing too to well as, as far as Taika goes right yeah I know right as far as Taika right. goes it's like I think whether it's him or anybody. Disney probably doesn't want to put. I mean, that's a lot of pressure on somebody's shoulders. Sure, he made a great movie in in the Thor Ragnarok, 
That's a lot of pressure. Whoever comes in now for James Gunn, it's the audience spotlight. It's boom. What are you going to do better than James Gunn? Like you're going to have the haters that are applauding it and want him out, and then you're going to have the fans that are just like, okay, well, let's and, see, un, and unjustly because because that's the whole thing is like you can have a very talented director in there, but now it's going to go. What can you do better than James Gunn? And maybe that the same way the cast will feel that way because look at what Peyton Reed went through on Ant Man. Yeah, right. And he didn't even. And this is not even close to what whoever this poor fucker is that comes in to direct the, thir the third one. Yeah. Peyton Reed had to, A, take over for Edgar Wright, first of all, mm -hmm. who w is beloved, and and then it just did, didn't did meet eye to eye, and, and, and he took off. And also Ant-Man, an unknown franchise. And whereas, like, Taika Waititi, I think, probably had the least... Nothing, I got nothing to lose in this one because Thor of the Dark World was such trash. Well, it wasn't trash. I mean, it wasn't it was, trash. It just wasn't good. Well, I mean, in comparison. And comparison, he could have done right. anything he wanted. And Thor, and Thor Ragnarok was effing incredible. Right. It, it was great. And I think that the, the difference is because, like you're, like you're saying, is that the Guardians, whatever, whatever I think about the second one, the, the first and second one were very successful. Mm -hmm. People love them. And it is you're right. The third movie, they're gonna be like, okay, well, you don't have the guy who essentially he's he's linked. James Gunn right. is linked to Guardians, right. as where there are some movies inside of the Marvel franchise. Like, oh yeah, that's right. Somebody so and so directed that movie. Like for example, Kenneth Branagh did the yeah. first Thor, very good movie. Sure. But you don't think of it like. Thor, Kenneth Branagh. You go, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Kenneth Branagh right. did that right. movie. You think James Gunn, you think Guardians. Yep. So it's a tough situation, but I think this is the right move to put it on, uh, run, you know, put some other movies out, take care of the Avengers and see what happens. Right. Yeah, run. I mean, you've got, you have the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. what are they saying in the chat room? Uh, they said, we just got internet. Yeah, we just got internet. Um, a lot of people are, are for Taika Waititi. Uh, yeah. You know, thinking you know Thor Ragnarok was basically there. There's a lot of people say it's like a Guardians esque. It had mm -hmm. a Guardian feel to it. Yeah, it did. Uh, yeah. Thor one and Thor two are the worst MCU movies. Oh, there you go. Uh, Dark World was at least decent. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. The I first liked Thor Guardians wasn't Volume the worst. two. Third Dark World was. I might have. I really yeah. like Thor. The original I find yeah. very underrated, and I minus Cat Dennings, I love it. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Well, minus oh, Natalie yeah. Portman. Uh, how about Thor. Edgar Wright for Guardians three? I, you run into the same problem you ran in with him. I, I don't think Edgar Wright wants no, to No, it's because there's certain directors, and we talked about yes. this the other day, there are certain directors that it's an Edgar Wright movie. It's mm -hmm. a Tarantino movie. It's a Nolan movie, and that's cool. That's fine. That, that's that, that's great. That there's, It's hard to do right. for directors. Um, but signature. It, it's signature, and I think that there are some directors that just don't fit into the studio. Look, Nolan is not that case, because look at what he did with the, with the right. Batman franchise. You like, know? you can't put Wes Anderson on a Marvel movie. Now. Right. But that's you know? why right. I, that's why I feel like Taika Waititi is the perfect choice, because, like, I do, f their vibes are different, but there is a little bit interchangeable between he could him do it. and James Gunn. And also, he just gained, like, the trust and like of the fandom yeah. and he did a like an incredible job with Thor Ragnarok. So yeah. I just feel yeah. like he's I feel like he's the natural choice. Like I, I think really that do. he probably I wouldn't be surprised if they've had those meetings with him. I wouldn't be surprised. He, he was in he was uh, for right. a meeting and, and people are assuming that. I, I'm I would love here's what I would love. They put they take their time on this, right? Yeah. Whether mm -hmm. it's rewrite it or not. Mm -hmm. Give me Rocket, Groot and Thor and bring in Taika Waititi, call it as Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Boom. I, I can't tell you how great they are in Infinity War. Yeah. yeah you just dropped the mic. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's, all right, so then... I, uh, speaking of Edgar Wright, I, I want to get your opinion on this. Terrible, um, because terrible. if Absolutely he's not going to do an MCU, he's up for uh, Bond 25. Or say, the deadline is saying he's on a short list for, to take Edgar, Edgar, Wright? Wright. Edgar Wright. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So Jean, Jean-Marc Vallée, who did uh, Dallas Buyers Club and did yeah, Sharp Objects, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he, yeah, I just watched that. My that, goodness. The finale. Yeah, good. Sharp yeah. Objects, my God. Um, but yeah, so they're saying now he's on the short list, which we, we talked a little bit about this on it. I think that's phenomenal. Yeah. I, uh, but I think they'll run into the same problems they had with Danny Boyle, which is creative difference. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, again, you look at look at what happened in the past. I think that they want to get somebody with a with a stamp, and I think you got that's if you look. Ryland, I talked about this. You look at the action alone of what he did in Baby Driver, right? Mm -hmm. Like that to me, is, he can he can and deliver it, on it. And that honestly is the least Edgar Wright movie I think he's ever made. It's true, and and I love Baby Driver. I love Baby Driver. Yeah, love he it. said that he'd been working on that one for like 20, 23, 24 years. Yeah. yeah, you know, initially I was. When when Riley had brought up Edgar Wright for Bond, and I said, "Well, I, you know, because I love the music, the way the music was used in Baby Driver, yeah. because it was like it was, it wasn't just a <clears throat> like for me, Atomic Blonde was a music video. That's all it was. It was a music video. 
I didn't hate that movie as much as I thought I was going I didn't into love it. it. I just I didn't yeah. love it. I, I like know what you mean, though. But it, Baby Driver, they like they filmed everything to music. Yes, the music was part of the story. So the music was, was a character, right? And like they, when they were filming, even if there was no music for that, they always made sure there was like a beat running so that yeah. every step they took kind of worked. Well, it was part of what the character was. Yeah, and, it was amazing. And, and you needed it because that's the same thing. It's like having a movie, you know, with Mozart not having music in it because right. that's what Baby, that's what the character Baby right. was all about. Right. That's how he. So that worked for me, and I said. Well, I don't want necessarily want Bond to just be full of music. And I said, well, that's not going to be the case. Because, because even though, like, Scott Pilgrim, which is a under, criminally underrated mm-hmm. film. 100%. And it, that uses music. He uses music just very well, but it didn't overpower the movie. And I think that he would actually do a great job with James Bond if, like, like Riley said, though, if they can find a way to be on the same page. Because you don't know why. He was on differences. Has, Danny he Boyle. With Dan, has he worked with Daniel Craig before? Edgar Wright? Has he been in anything? Oh no, I don't know if that's. I don't know if he has, but I think that uh, that's. I don't. I think that Daniel Craig, even though you know he's got this reputation of being a pain in the ass, mm-hmm. you know, I think that it's. There's also res- there's certain directors that just command respect because of reputation. Right. I think, and I'm pretty sure Edgar Wright's one of those. Most guys. importantly, what happened to Daniel Craig's face? What do you mean? What happened to his face? <laughs> like, what happened to his face? That came out of nowhere, but I like it. Where is this going? Well, that escalated well, quickly. I forget yeah. what award show it was recently. Yeah. He went on stage, and I was, was like, who the hell is that guy? Yeah. And my mom's like, that's that's the, that's the Bond guy. I was like, no, yeah. it's not. She's like, yes, it is. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, he Did he get like crazy work done or something? Like His face know. looks totally what different. What award shows? We'll bring up a picture. I don't know. Bring up a recent picture of Daniel Craig. Just, I don't just type, in, type Daniel in Daniel Craig, Craig new plastic face? surgery. All right. I swear it Daniel looks Craig totally different. I don't know if that's true. I've never seen it. Unless seen he that. just like, I don't know, got stung by bees that morning or something. <laughs> well, that looks, oh, that's, a, that's the award. That's the thing you're talking. Yes. Oh. I mean, he just looks older. What are you talking about? He Christian? looks older. No, that oh, is the word. He doesn't look good. That's you know, that is, some people age. No, yeah. th- I'm sorry. That is not, that is not just getting old. That is like all this fillers. His eyebrows really? are raised. Yes. That looks like in between jobs. Uh, that looks like you get all you know, lean uh-uh. or a gig, I don't and know. then you... No. Don't Let, know. Go back to that picture. Go up. Cops or whoever's out there is just looking at that the topless one. They like yes, that. okay. Look, <laughs> look at... He does look like my grandfather. Wait till you lose your metabolism, okay, Shanae. Look, look, yeah. look, at, look at, like, his eyebrows. Yeah. Like, he's literally gotten, like, a brow lift. You can see that. You see his, eh, like... He looks like a vampire. Who cares? No, he looks... I just was really concerned as to why he was getting work done, because I, I thought know. he looked super hot. Some men Ugh. don't think they age well. And then start doing that same Sad. as women. I mean, everybody. I, I've had this conversation with my wife though about the yeah. I, I plastic surgery. I think ages you more. It does. It, but the problem you is, you look it, older it, when you once you get it done. But if you do it too many, especially when you see a lot of women that do it, it's like they get that cat face. Yeah, and they mm-hmm. all have that same. And it looks fucking, the same. They all have the same face. Yeah, it's like a business card, and it's like it's so. It's like just. Let yourself get older. Mm-hmm. Like to me, I find I find women who just uh, nat- like look Judy Dench. Yeah, just naturally l- aging to me. That and you know maybe I'm old fashioned. I don't know, but like, when they do the tux and the th- everything, like I saw something on the news the other day with this woman getting laser shit on her face. It's like this really this model, and she's going in and like this blood on her face, and I'm like just to shade off a couple of years. It's like, dude, let it go. Where do they get these ideas when these old gross dudes are walking around with women with Botox faces. Where do they? Where Where do these women get these ideas to do this to their fucking face? The wangers are having it's a blast our, right it's now. It's our fault. They're having a blast. Yeah, what a piece of shit. <laughs> but anyway, God. so all right, we got anything else? You're in right, the news? Uh, You're right. We covered some some good movie news. I want to get your uh, thoughts on this though. Uh, John Goodman came to uh, Roseanne's defense and talked a little bit about the Connors. Well, and okay, what do you say? He said uh, he doesn't believe she's a racist. I mean, I love you, John. I love you, John. But I mean, she's clearly she's clearly racist. I mean, you know, like. a and also confirming that she's going to die yeah. in the uh, in the new series. <laughs> they said he said he's going to he's gonna, he's gonna be <laughs> uh, very mopey as uh, because my wife died. Well, Dan uh, also died said? in so, the first series, yeah. so yeah. We're exactly. Kind of so now we're we're getting yeah, into some this, weirdness. But yeah, but this is this is canon for this series. So yes. he, you know, it's probably they're going to do it. The only thing this is the problem with that show now when they bring it back for just the Connors, right? Is that what I thought was so brilliant about this new iteration of this, of this show was they represented the left and they represented the right. They represented the, the right point of view w- w- with, um, with Roseanne and the left with her sister and they had this, basically what the whole entire country is doing right now and you saw these two forms just kind of expressing all of it, the anger, the hatred, the love um, because of the frustration. Because how many, I had dinner with a buddy of mine who, 
basically lost his whole family to not not you know they're still around but to, to politics mm-hmm. because they don't speak anymore because of the stuff and they well, that's crazy but it's yeah. crazy but they and they did and they have they were they did this and they showed this it's happened all over the country mm-hmm. right? oh, yeah. and they showed this and I thought that's what was so intriguing about the show that they could do this and make it real. Um, what happened to discourse? What happened to just conversation? Well, what's going to happen now? Now, yeah. now that yeah, that, that, like, that point of view is gone. I know. And, and they can't is, force it's it. It's so crazy how Scott the TV Bayo. show yeah. has become like so political. Not just the TV show. Like I understand that they had underlying themes in the TV show. I mean, it's just surrounding the TV right, show. Right. Every conversation about the show from here on out will always be col- political. And it kind of makes me nauseous. Like, I think yeah. it's gross. Yes. Well, no. like Archie Bunker was showing a racist man, you know, but he wasn't, there was no Twitter for the actor to go on right. and it's start, also the you know. 70s. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I mean, like, yeah, that's yeah, the thing. This is a real actor. person yeah. saying something. This wasn't on the show. If this right. happened on the show and it shows that, yeah, some people are racist, but she's a real person that called someone an ape. And I she's mean, had, the, well, she's, know, well, yeah, from, it's what, what, she did. She she had tried to come back and say that she she didn't even know that the woman was black. She thought she was white. But it's like all that stuff. It's it, it, it's the, the problem is it's like if if you have a problem mm-hmm. a with Ambien like you, like you do because I can tell you that it, it's it'll fuck you up. And if you have that problem, you should a not have social media, mm-hmm. and you should also you those thoughts are in your head. You've had those thoughts before. We've heard those types of thoughts before. And Ambien even said it best. It's like we have we are. Drug is known to have a lot of side effects. Racism is not one of them. Right. Yes, yeah. and like also like regardless, she it's whatever. It's she's free to say whatever she wants. But like the point is, this it was ABC, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. ABC yeah. is owned by Disney. Why is anybody surprised that this happened? Why are we still arguing about it? It's Disney's call to do whatever the hell they want yeah. to do with their property because it's a representation well, of their brand. It's what you said though. The reason that people were making a thing of it at, at all was because the politics side of it. Right, and that's because, that's gross. Well, like, and but the, but. He the big the story is John Goodman saying you know this is also someone who spent a lot of time with this woman mm-hmm. like for this season for all the seasons in the past and this but is John Goodman also isn't a black man or a Mexican man or an Asian man or very a true. woman or right. whatever yeah it's very true this and is, anything he says isn't going to change it so I don't right, even know yeah. why he's even saying anything. well well because because I'll tell you why because the thing is if this came out if you did some if you were hammered and you started tweeting out crazy shit right mm-hmm. and if someone asked me I go from all the years, because I can say this now, all the mm-hmm. years that we have worked together, I have never seen you be a racist. Mm-hmm. I have never seen you um, say these types of things, or, or I, I've never seen that. I, the, the Josh McCuga I know is not a racist. Um, but if you're tweeting that stuff, yeah. Sinead certainly has the, op- the 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 can have the opinion to go. To me, this guy's a fucking racist. Yeah. You know, she, I think. I think what I might I mean is like he can say that about her separately. Just like the if they want this show to stand without any of this negativity, yeah. the smart thing for anybody involved in this show would be to stop having the conversations connected to this new the Connors thing. Like right. this is a, this was supposed to be a solution to one thing. Yeah, but you know they're always going to ask him about, it, especially the fact that this new season hasn't debuted yet. No one knows no to respect. They need they, the soundbite. They need the yeah. soundbite, and plus the fa- yeah, because they're going to be asked about, about it for a long for time. Ever. Until it goes, because if it doesn't succeed, then then they're definitely going to talk about it more. Mm-hmm. Because the, that's the other question. I think that here's here if you want to play to it, they also know that there is a a big part because that show is very successful. This new this new version ABC mm-hmm. was on a cloud nine, right? Success, and a lot of that has to do with because a lot of people on the side of Roseanne, as far as politics goes, um, were watching the show. I'm sure a Roseanne lot of, is Middle America, and I'm sure a lot of them now said no, thank you. Now, if the new lead of the show is sticking up for her, then maybe PR-wise, they say, okay, well, you know, if you, if you feel this way, John, right. you should say it because yeah. then we can get them back on board. I don't yeah. think they're telling him to lie, and I don't think he's – I think he's a person of integrity, and if that's what how he feels, I don't agree with him. Mm-hmm. I think that she's proven herself to absolutely be a racist, but – um, and I don't think just with these tweets and things, things that she's done in the past and things, stories that I've heard um, in general, but there hey, is, who knows? I don't know the woman, but it's it's a f- stupid situation. Back in the day, there was, not back in the day, I mean, there's I don't mind, four or five years ago, there was a, a receiver from the Philadelphia Eagles that mm-hmm. was at a country concert and he was drunk and he dropped the N word, okay? Okay. Every, he came out that he's, I'm not a racist, da 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 da. Okay. Drunk, sober, that word should not be in your lexicon. You should not be saying it. Right. And you can't blame it on alcohol. So you can't blame it on ambi. You can't that thought is in your head. When you drink, weird truths come out. Right. Right. And we're talking about that that guy, like that's one instance. Correct. You know? So that's like still something I could I could 
see people forgiving him for. I would, I would think it was crazy if people were still angry about that guy saying the N word one right. time, especially if he was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm sorry. Yep. This is a woman who continuously <laughs> does it. You know? Keeps doing That's, it. I'm yeah. just like, all right. Yeah. Right. All right. So we are, this is a very important topic, but there's another topic that's even more important, important that we'll talk about after the break badly timed farts. Um, we are going to, oh, wait, is this new? Oh, this is brand new. Breaking yeah. news here. So maybe even put ah. Matt Smith, Doctor Who, right? Now he was. Uh, he is also Prince, Prince Philip. Philip. Yeah. Prince Philip in the Crown. But wasn't oh, he Doctor Who? He was Doctor Who also. He was Doctor Who. I thought. Am I? Yeah. Okay. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Okay. And hey, so this is this is another. Now the all the casting now coming out for episode nine. It's coming. Is it like this morning? Was this like a designated? Oh, this just happened. I know. This, Damn. Well, the Dominic uh, Monaghan came out a couple days ago, but this Jedi is Council's gonna be on fire this week. Sure is. I mean, this is, cool. these are t- these are two big these are two big additions here to the cast. I mean, both these guys are are really good. And I think that who let's let's see what's what's going to happen here. I mean, who who's he going to play? I mean, I think he fits in. It's, it certainly goes into the original trilogy of uh, getting the getting the Brits because wasn't wasn't Dominic Monaghan? He he's British, he's right? Australian? No, he's British. Oh, is he British? Yeah. Okay. So he, yeah. he's they're going after the Brits, and that's what they did in the original uh, trilogy. And I'm mm-hmm. glad they're doing it for this one too. Yeah. He he looks like First Order. Oh, yeah. He does. He looks yeah. very Star Warsy. He's very Star. He's very Star Warsy for yeah, sure. I, I like the mm-hmm. casting of Matt Smith. I think that's a that's a good that's a good choice. <sighs> People are so, so lucky he- to have like a Star Wars face, you know. <laughs> Uh, would you? Would you? Like, in the be Star Wars-y? Yeah. No, but they're in the mirror and they're like, "Damn, I look so Star Warsy." It's only a matter of time. <laughs> would you want to be in Star Wars? Hell yeah! I would be like Tree Number Forty Seven. Tree Forty Seven. I'm clearly a drunk guy at Cantina. Who's I like, would love that. Yeah, yeah, I'd see that. <laughs> That's me. I still, t- I still stick by the fact that I wouldn't want to be in it. Really? Yeah, Why? I, still, I don't want to know. They say never meet your heroes type I, of thing. Well, no, Sausage I don't, don't want to know what's happening. Yeah, I, I, because I think it's because of my time at WWE. Mm. I because after working there, I didn't. I wasn't. A fan of the you product. You were disillusioned. I was, you know, and I think that I was, I stopped. I was a huge fan going in, and then after I st- was working there, I was like, nope, I'm good, and didn't watch it for like. What if it's like a one-off? Years. Like, what if it was like a Rogue One type of deal? No, it's the same thing. I don't want to know about the story beforehand because then I don't want to know. I, like, I wouldn't want to get the script. But Star Wars, dude. I, I, I Look, know, the answer, man. the I, answer to this start all start is that I'm full of shit, and of course I'd probably <laughs> yeah, take it. Exactly. But I wanna, yeah, I wanna, hello. That's totally different. You, don't you know, like, they're I not going to call you up and be like, <laughs> you're not going to be like, well, you know what, I've been thinking about it. Um, what do you just, got for me? It's not like you thought the, the <laughs> right. Star Wars universe was real, and then you're like, wait, it isn't? <laughs> right. Oh, you know, that's just, like the wrestling. Let's get quote Dominic. I guess it just depends on what JJ's got for me. All right, we're going to go to break. When we get back, we're definitely going to talk about some, the reason we come up with this badly timed fart stuff, it's like somebody sent me a video about it because now that we watch these videos people are sending me videos all the time it's the greatest thing it's really funny and so they sent me this one video that I saw and I was like you know what there's got to be some good stories Mm -hmm. here because there's some stuff we're a bunch we're a bunch of animals in this office and uh, we'll talk about it after the break Clyde a lot Hey guys, Riley here, and let me tell you about Rule of Two. Rule of Two is a Star Wars podcast hosted by myself and Mark Fernandez. It drops on the Jedi Council podcast feed every Tuesday. You like Star Wars? Good. I like Star Wars. And you know what we do? We talk Star Wars. And not only talking Star Wars, we celebrate Star Wars. We gave the Golden Lightsabers the best in Star Wars, best picture, best opening theme, best crawl, and all that good stuff. We celebrate the games of Star Wars. We do everything in the Star Wars universe with a lot of debate and a lot of discussion thrown in the middle. So make sure you check out Rule of Two every Tuesday on the Collider Jedi Council podcast feed on iTunes and later on Collider Video Podcast Network. That's Rule of Two with Riley and Mark Fernandez every Tuesday. And may the force be with you. Hey everyone, Mark Ellis here. You know, when I'm not trying to clone dinosaurs or drinking in my neighborhood watering hole, I am probably hosting Collider Movie Talk. It's a flagship show here at Collider. I like to say that because I'm the host of it. It's every day, almost. It's four days a week, which is still pretty good above 50 percent you can watch it monday tuesday wednesday and thursday 4 p.m los angeles time is when we do it it's live so you can participate in the live chat room go ahead and give us your thoughts on every story we have coming because it's all the latest movie news of the day who did what at the box office what horrible red box movies bruce willis signed on to the dc the marvel the star wars is the lord of the are they making new i think they're it's a tv show we still might talk about it anyway because we love movies around here it's myself and an ex 
expert panel of guests, including John Roca, Perry Nemiroff, Jeff Snyder, and other noted noters of note. You guys are going to love this show. And then we take your live Twitter questions at the end of the show at Collider Video. You can always use the hashtag Collider Movie Talk to get in touch with us. So subscribe right here to Collider Video. Check out Movie Talk and check out the Collider Movie Talk podcast feed. We have a podcast feed now. You don't have to look at this handsomeness. You can just listen to it, whether you're driving to work, whether you're driving from work, or you don't have a job, but you have a basement and ears. You can listen to Collider Movie Talks feed. You can get it at Apple Podcasts or on iTunes. You also get Mailbag. That's the show that's hosted by Perry Nemeroff a lot more professionally than I run this pirate ship. That's our weekend show where she takes your letters. I don't know if you write them or you email them. You have to ask her. And Afterthoughts, hosted by Ryan Snelling and Jay Williams. I almost said Ryan Williams and Jay Snelling. Would anybody have known the difference? I certainly would. I would have felt bad about it because I'm a nice person, and that's why I host Collider Movie Talk. Check it out in video form or on our podcast feed. Hi there. I see that you're enjoying Collider Live. After this show, why not check out Collider Games, where we play, well, games. We review games. We talk about things, anything that's going on in the gaming world, our opinions, news, all kinds of stuff. So check it out. If you like it, stick around and subscribe. Hey everyone, John Roca here, one of the hosts for Collider Sports Time. That's our new show there on the Collider Sports Network. It's our flagship show, just like Collider Movie Talk. We get on, talk about a bunch of sports issues of the day, and what is burning up social media, what topics are burning up social media. That's what we do on Collider Sports Time. I'm joined by my top 10 co-host, Matt Nost. Me and him, we welcome a bevy of guests every week to talk about NFL the Major League Baseball playoffs, NHL, and the NBA, which is starting up soon. We're going to talk about that. We also get into UFC stuff, college football, all the stuff that's happening in the world of sports. We're going to cover it on Collider Sports Time. And we're going to take the time to break it all down and give our opinions and our unique takes and unfiltered thoughts on what we think about the sports news of the day. So don't forget to join us every week on Monday for the Collider Sports Time show on the Collider Sports Network. And don't forget to subscribe on the Collider Sports Network on YouTube and on the Collider Sports Podcast feed. We're going to bring you all kinds of stuff. Hope to hear from you soon. Hey, everyone. I'm Scott Movie Mance. And just to let you know, if you already don't, every Friday here on Collider Video, I host a weekly film review series called Movie Review Talk. The title says it all. Every week, I'm joined by two guest critics of my choice, and they're never the same. We review the new films. We pick something that's streaming that you might not know about, but is really great. And we pick a Blu-ray for something that you might have missed in theaters. It is fun. It is infectious. It is the Citizen Kane of movie review shows, and it's only right here on Collider with this guy, Scott Movie Mance, Mr. Movie Release Day himself check it out every friday at 10 a.m pacific only on collider video and we're back and the reason why we're playing that song not only is it a great piece of music it is also beardo's favorite movie apparently so we uh that's i guess he picked that song and i like it what is this, Mother? No, come on. It's from uh, Social Network. Oh, and it is... Uh, we're back. It's uh, it's the Collider Live, and the energy is nice and special, and that's because you're here. Hello. Oh, yeah. Nice I, to have you back. Two I days really, in a row. really tie a room together, don't yeah, I? Yeah, you really yeah. do. I brought, uh, I brought a gift for one of our... For one of our hosts today. What do you got? Um, because this person mentioned it yesterday uh -oh. on the uh, the program. I wasn't here, so that, um, that, that Brett was talking about how he wanted to go... To the weed store, so he oh, could yeah. get he could get uh, some weed, but not the psychoactive stuff, right. just the CBD you stuff that really helps your back. I picked up some CBD. This is Blue Dream from Creation. Get some uh, coconut in there. You get some CBD oil. It's oh, non psychoactive, pain and anxiety relief, and some blue algae for immune support and digestive aid. That's for real? Yeah, but you got to drink it on air. I'll drink it on air. Yeah, okay, good. We have I love the creation. creation. Stuff up. Uh, I'm working on it, man. Okay, They're, good. They have like four stores in uh, in the greater Southern California yeah. area. Fantastic stuff. Have, right, well, you, have you gotten on their VIP yeah, list? Yeah, use the mic, Shane. Oh. Have, have you gotten on? Have you gotten on their VIP list? Uh, uh -oh. No, I didn't know they had a VIP list. They have a VIP. She got seductive list. when it came to the VIP yeah, list. Yeah, really. That, yeah. that sounds like an exclusive club. No, but that is where uh, one Joshua Hercules Makuga took me uh, and bought me a shake after he tried to kill me. So, oh, 
If you try to kill somebody, just saying, like, like you can come back from it. Just buy them a chocolate lover. Well, you, every time I go there, though, I'm looking at the menu and it's like, I can eat it. Nope. I, I, mm, no. He, nothing also there. Like that's everything. what I'm saying. I'm allergic to everything nuts. in that place. Yeah. A lot of nuts. Uh, good to have you back here. Two, yeah. Two days in a row. It's fun, man. Yeah, and I talked about that uh, you're going to be doing, uh, you're going to be in Toronto and, and you'll be doing a show out there. Uh, you're not what? doing a show out there. <laughs> in Toronto? See? That's what I said. I, Riley lied to me. Well, no, I'm, I'm going to try to. Yeah, Riley lied to me. I'm literally I said, seeing I knew it all day, which like, is that, why I'm that's, there. See, so that's what I said. It's tough to get out <laughs> that's to a initially, club that, and book a date, but yeah. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, see, that's what I initially said. I yeah. said that you were you were going to be seeing movies, maybe doing something for the Rotten Tomatoes, uh, your, your opinion sucks or something, maybe? Yeah, well, I've just seen movies. Just seen literally movies? Literally just seen movies. So look at that. And then, I, and then I said, I don't know if he's seeing a show, and Riley said, yeah, he is. So he's not doing a show. I'm doing a show in Atlanta this Friday, right. oh, so that's maybe where that's is. where the confusion You said you were going to try, so. and I assumed you would uh, yeah. book a gig, because you normally do. And you're it's a all, it's all on the Twitter right you're now. But I guess I'm a liar, and fun tweet. fact, Riley is not a good person. You're a filthy liar. <laughs> that's a good drink. I'm sorry that no one yeah. can see it, because I'm hidden behind Sinead's mic, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have a couple of things that I it's wanted to stuff. bring up before we get into one of our main to- main topics here. Um, and I keep I, I wanted to do this since the first show. Something you pointed out to me oh, at, com- at Comic Con. A note, perhaps. No, it wasn't a note. A life hack. No, these fucking <laughs> scooters, these birds. Yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah. They're the worst. What? What? So I, I I'm an old man. I don't understand what these things. All I see it's it looks like littering. It just looks like people are throwing scooters on the side of the road, and then oh. someone else, there they are, and then someone's driving them all over the place. It's a genius what, concept. What is it? It's Tell me. It's a genius what concept. It? it eliminates traffic. So basically, it's like you have these certain stations where you go around town. There's one on my, the, the stations? Yeah. They literally There's no them, stations. They, There's no stations. They dumped them on the, my grass. They're you, old bird's nests. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you you, you, you you get a scooter. What you do is you open your app and you see, okay, I need a scooter to get around town. Where's the nearest scooter to me? And you go grab one. Then then when you drop it off, it, it becomes now an active scooter again to where somebody else can go pick it up if they have the does access. It, does it, so it locks, though? If like so, if like Once you get off the app, it locks, right? So it's a right. dollar to unlock it. You have like a little square, okay. and it's 15 cents a minute after that. Okay. Here is, here is the issue with the birds, okay? One... They are hideous, and they're everywhere, like you said. It's everywhere. just littering, it's trash. whatever. When I was around Comic-Con, uh, everyone I went up to was out of batteries. Then you have a bunch of creepy people in vans driving around picking up birds to take home and charge. Yeah. Somebody in my building was trying to charge birds in the hallway of the building, and they, the building just squashed that. <laughs> Second of all, people don't wear helmets on these things, and they're going to get hurt. Right. Third of all, they they don't go fast enough to go over the bumpy streets of LA. So you see some idiot going like, and then right. and they're in traffic. Yeah, they only I saw go seven eat miles it an hour. For that. Yeah, they're was... only seven miles an hour, and then they try and put two people on one bird to like save the money. That can't handle that weight. Yeah, they I'm do. So... They go pretty fast. Do I they? Say. And they you know what the bad thing is? Like you can't let your kids hour. ride them. You know, before they were littered with them, it looked like a fun thing. But right. you have to have a driver's license, and who wants to ride them more than anything? Do they, you have to have kids. a driver's license. Yeah, so you get so pulled over. Okay. With them, yeah, I throw them on them. You're not supposed to. Right. They just need to be regular. I don't think they're the worst thing ever. I don't I think know. I don't know enough some... about it. All I just they just started popping up like gremlins, and like I like it's, it doesn't. They're not these stations. I would I prefer these stations that you talk about. They do that with I, the bikes. I'm telling you, on my block. People just dump them on the grass. Oh, they're I saw them when we were there. My son was like, oh, cool, they're birds. All, they're all over the grass, and then they're all over into the supermarkets, and you walk into the supermarket, and what I, my, my thing was, I guess you answered my question. I was like, well, what if, what if some guy is like, I'm going to go get some milk on one of these things, and he drops it, and some other guy goes, well, I need one, and then takes it off, but I guess you yeah. lock into your app. Sounds like okay. you're upset at the actual uh, oh. product being all over the streets, and sounds like everybody else is really upset at just stupid people yeah. who don't know how to <laughs> utilize yeah. a bird properly. So everybody else's issue is not with the birds, it's with dumb human beings. Yes, you correct. just You just find it unsightly. You're you're more the, of like a get-off-my-lawn yeah, kind of just, person. And that's correct. the dumb people. They leave it everywhere. They Somebody left it everywhere. against my front gate and at the apartment, you have to move that thing, and then where am I putting this? Thing? Yeah, and it looks stupid. We're grouchy old people. That's really what it comes to. What we are. You kind of sound like grouchy old people. Yeah. Do you I, love it? Have you used it? I haven't used it, but I just don't. I don't see the issue with but it. But you, you have the spirit of a grouchy old person. Sure, so. but mm. I just feel like in terms of traffic is not something that's ever getting any easier in no. LA. And so these people are going to ride this on the four hundred five? No, but I'm just saying, like, it, it le- at least alleviates a little bit of. Of traffic, it's cheaper than an Uber. So On the it helps surface out. streets, hell yeah, yeah. Dude. yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, but, yeah, but then I have to, to, the service streets are already tight enough. So now I have to weave around an idiot on a bird just going like, la, 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 la. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> What's the comments so far? Are they? Are this is only like an LA, New York thing? Is it, is it picking up in other places? There's other companies too. There's Lime. They're in 30 major metropolitan cities right All right, now. so tell me what the what the chat room is saying. Do they uh, love the birds? Do they hate the birds? Uh, a lot of like, they're they're stupid. They're everywhere. Yeah. Don't you get annoyed? Um well, yeah, it's the, a way oh, for hear, the government hear. to track us. Okay? Use your legs. It's how the government Jason. is going to follow people There's that birds. they're eventually going to weed right. out. If you're mm. running a bird, God bless you. You're saving some traffic, but the government knows where you are, mm -hmm. and they don't think that you are a job-holding American, right. so they're going to eliminate yeah. you within five years. Riley. Okay, when it gets hot in L.A., what happens to our power grid? Everything shuts down. So now we're charging electric scooters out of a U-Haul? Come on. Uh, uh, what will these guys do when they jerks. are actual old men? <laughs> That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're not in Chicago. They're not in Chicago. Not in Chicago yet. I've seen them in New York. Uh, oh, I haven't seen them in New York at all because we have the chase bikes. Here's another uh, issue. What are chase bikes? They can't go up hills. They can't go up hills. Right. I hate the birds. All right. Cool. They're so annoying. popular here. Hey. We now, we, they're so popular here. We throw now that, have two throw, brands. Throw that person of out of the room. I just want. I, I don't. Yeah. No I negativity. Throw them out. Ban them. I never want to see them again. Okay. Thank you. Um, Did you ever feel like that about a product that actually <laughs> ended up like like winning you over? Where, where you were initially like, what the hell is this? This is stupid. Uh, ah, fuck this. I, I hate and then, the, and I then hate a week train. later, you're like, ah. I hate to say it because you're going to think I'm goofing with you. You're going to say Amtrak? I'm going to say LaCroix. Um, and first of all, I, I got so I got issue. I got I got issue with the afterthoughts, guys. I, I, I got I got issue with the afterthoughts. Can we call guys. it the water that shall not be named? I am Fine. so sick of Fine. hearing that stupid word. <laughs> Vol Croy? Are they garbage people? I, no, okay. it's a fine beverage, First but all, it doesn't deserve to be talked about uh, ad nauseum. You asked on the me a show. you asked me a question. It's a and trend. Gave, it's yeah. a twenty eight. <gasps> Lacroix is a twenty eighteen yeah. trend, and right yes. now all you're doing it's is the just bird giving, of sodas. Exactly, you're just giving in to another trend that. Next These are year, my birds. These are all fun. over my lawn, and I'm <laughs> sick of you goddamn kids. But, but I'm sick of the afterthoughts, guys. When it comes to this shit, too, because they, they try to take credit for the fact that well, uh, Lacroix is our thing. Lacroix is our thing. No, it's not. Is you that how they sound now? More more or less. My wife. Was drinking this eight months before these humps, and just because they were talking about it on the air, it's like, no, it's not yours, it's everybody's. And the whole point is, if you like LaCroix, you'd wait, like, oh, you know what? I'm glad they're talking about it because I, I'm glad that those sons of bitches are talking about it on Afterthoughts. It's the lamest conversation ever. And I it say it's not constantly. I love it's it. Just, and in just fairness to the water. Afterthoughts guys, the you question, were never drinking it on camera right? until they started talking yeah, about they it. Go fuck themselves. Until he got a big glass goblet like he's the Voldemort of LaCroix. Yeah, and when I called it a glass, yeah. he made sure to tell me that it's a fucking chalice. chalice. He was like, it's a chalice. That's right. <laughs> Get your shit together, DeFreeze. Didn't Makuka say it was where the shrimp are? Didn't yeah. you put those? Yeah. yeah, those oh, yeah. But it's uh, where you shrimp cocktail. cocktail. All right, Mark, I have a very important question for you. Well, I'm just, I'm so tired of people <laughs> treating <laughs> fizzy water like it's the invention it of penicillin. I'm trying to get away from it. And you want to stay there? You want to talk about the Old right. Jonas Sulk right. over here. You want to talk about my favorite flavors? I'm done. Right. No, no, no. God, All right, fine. No. So I have a very important mm -hmm. question and you have to be honest about Oh, uh, is, this, is this some sort of shaving the undercarriage kind of Have you ever farted in this office and, and let somebody walk right into it? <laughs> Uh, no, I hold it in pretty well. Have you? The office. Yeah. As soon as I get in the oh. car, different story. Yeah. Well, I've got a story that this is where this came from because, and I, and I know makuku has got a hundred of them. Um, and we go, well, they came up because someone sent me this video because ever since we started watching these videos, people have sent it in. There was this one video about un, uh, badly timed farts, right? <laughs> Bless you. And so I, I don't this know. This is Beardo's dream conversation. But right I don't, now. I don't know what, I don't know what it was, but I was, I was sitting in my office and, and Whatever the hell it was, Chipotle. Drinking your Voldecroy. Maybe, but with, with some. I'm sure, I got a text. With oh some chip with some Chipotle, right? <laughs> yeah. And you know, I was like, no one's around. So you have you have an office. Yeah, I have an office. So out it goes. And <laughs> no one's around. And right Zip. as that happens, and it was a bad one, right? So door closed or open? Open. And right, louder right, SPD. No, no, no. It was it was silent, and it could it would have melted your face off, right? So, <laughs> so, right as it happens, <laughs> here comes Perry. With a uh, fast walk, like to talk about something. Oh, uh, the I, active walk. I, I couldn't let her do it. I had to I'm stand up. Crying. I had to stand up and go, "Hey, look, look at this. Come watch this with me." And we walked away, and I just saved her from catastrophe. You are an American hero. Well, it would have been bad. It yeah. would have been. It would have been bad. Like, did any of it trail? Did you get that? Tra did you cut it off? I don't know. Did I, you I felt things falling. I, I think that it, you know, it was the, the pure heat. Tracer bullets. Yeah, but so, so Makuga, you've done it here. Oh well, yeah. Um, well, it was like that. I'm telling you, it was it was. Brutal. So you Poor forget. Paris. Okay, 
when you first get into a relationship, obviously there is the the no fart phase, right? And then you start slowly <laughs> no. phasing in the farts. Oh, I'm dropping okay? bombs like Pearl Harbor. Oh uh, yeah. So you forget when you're around other women that they are not accustomed to you farting. Oh, it's so right? Because you're in front of your wife, you're just like, oh, right. sorry, babe. Babe, right. why'd you do that? That's gross, right? So in the old writer's room, in the old Collider office, I'm sitting on one of those exer balls instead of a chair because I thought that was going to help me get in shape, which it didn't. Yeah. And uh, Grace is in the office with Ken, and they're talking. I just like sat up and was like, oh, oh, I forgot you were in here. I'm really sorry. Oh, my God. And Grace's face went bright red, and I just like, I, I don't, I got, I don't know. I, you don't I, got I, it. I, My I favorite got was it. when Cal was in the office, and it would just be like, got to blame the dog. Cal. Cal. Yeah, Cal. Yeah, yeah. Blame, see, I don't have a dog anymore, so I can't yeah. do that. But like, yeah, blaming the dog, was, it was was. That was a good one. I, I Sh- might have blamed the dog Sinead? a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brett, I'm sure you you dropped ones off. Oh, all the, the best part. Th- actually, this morning my daughter farted in the elevator and loves that. I'm like, you know, do that. People are coming to the elevator, but and she goes, I wish they really made those underwear that make farts smell like bacon. <laughs> Where did you get? It's from Liv and Maddie, this show she watches. And I'm wow. like, that is a great... I th- did you come Smart up with idea, that? we got to market that. Yeah, but we could. I, yeah. I, don't, I just hate that, that it's so passe. I mean, we should be able to... As kids, we just fart all the time. It's yeah. funny. And like now we can't Well, because it. you get older, it's brutal. But I yeah, mean, it's brutal. Your, your I didn't have a no farting it. phase with any girlfriend. Right away. Oh, no. You oh, can't no. have... You, can, you, can't, you, just you gotta, have to break the boundary yeah. right away. Yeah. I have the, never uh, successfully broken the boundary of the no fart rule. And that is that is on me. That is on my personage because I never farted in front of a. a I do. Not, I my longest relationship is two and a half to three years, wow. depending on who you talk to. Right. And <laughs> I um, have never farted on purpose, just like laying in bed. I always hold it in. Now, what I will say is this: I have somewhat of like an Ivan Drago mentality, where if we've been dating for a couple of years, if I happen to let one go watching football and she walks by, if he dies, he dies. Right, like, right, right. right. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to be yeah, like, caught in the yeah, yeah, yeah. But I occasionally, I, I have blamed it on the dog in an elevator scenario. Um, when other people get in, <laughs> you had that great joke. It might be the last joke. That was your walk-off joke. Oh, yeah, the, the last the, joke the, you wrote. The, the valet. The valet. Yeah. yeah. Is it bad to fart in the car before you give the keys it, to the valet? Well, no. If they get, if they charge too much. If they charge, <laughs> if they charge too much, is it wrong to fart in the, in, in the valet when you get they, out of the car? They do make underwear that has carbon like really? pockets in them that will are supposed yeah. to lighten yeah. the smell because if the smell wasn't there you could all day. you got to be you got to be careful though you when, you, when you when you're married though you got to be careful though because especially when you have two daughters because I I found myself in a situation last week was I was I was walking by just, you know out comes the firecracker and and I hear my I hear my 7 year old go good one dad <laughs> and um and I'm like uh I'm like that's I don't want I don't want her like you know critiquing good ones or bad ones so yeah I just I was Why never not? never proud of it I was I was never even when I was a kid I, I wasn't like hey guys come here like a farting right. contest to me a lot of my friends would do it and I would just I would abstain yeah it's Here's not a pride th- thing I just don't like to be in pain right I just want that out of my Riley body. I know that you've destroyed some people in the office and not told anyone uh, no, not in the office. No, no, not no. in the office. I've, I've sure I've, I've let some squeak by, and yeah. I just kind of go. <laughs> I've, 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 sent, I've sent Riley some. some oh my god! Blast. My favorite is Christian sends me the the voice memos, texts, right? But they're farts. They're farts. So I'm having this conversation with my fiance, and I literally hold it. You know, you can hold it up and it plays. And, I, and she's like, "What was that?" And I go, "Oh, Christian's sending me farts." And she goes, "What the fuck is wrong with them?" I don't know. It's just this thing he does. It's How is there not really a fart good. app where you just? It send was really text? good. I actually had There's someone. I had someone it, in right? the office once say because it was. I sent it to him after work, and I told him, and we, I told someone about it. I don't want to hear. And someone in the office said, "I don't want to hear you sending your farts. It's not appropriate." And I'm like, "Get the fuck out of here! It's after hours." <laughs> uh, I, I do yeah. have a good and fart story. Though. Yeah, I, I have fun. a pretty good fart story. Uh, John Caprulo, a good friend of ours, hilarious comic, see him in Vegas at Harris. He uh, is a very accomplished farter. Um, he, he, when he was a kid, the he, God farter. He used to fart into him and his. I think him and his sister used to fart into a recorder, and they would they had like a cassette tape of their farts, and they would like play, and he would play it when she had like boyfriends over to them. What they like, sound like, Beardo? Like um, 
And and then and then him and his friends will like go back and forth with fart noises. So one time we were on the road together, I was featuring for him, and I went to his hotel room afterwards. We were just hanging out playing video games, and I had a couple of beers. I I had a watch, and I left my watch in his in his hotel room. I went back and went to bed. I wake up the next morning to a video he sent me of him. He set his he set his phone up so you could see like everything in the hotel room, but it was like right the watch was right in the foreground, and so you see no. Nobody's in there, and then you see him running out of the bathroom, and he runs up and goes, hee hee, and he parts <laughs> right on my watch. <laughs> well, there you go. That's the way to close I it out. I have not worn the watch since. Can, yeah. I, can I do one more sure. real quick? Okay. So this is an urban legend that nobody ever thinks is possible, but it works. So my buddy in college, I'm not going to give his full name, his first name is Sean. He farted in a, nal- oh. he farted in a Nalgene bottle. I've heard this story. <laughs> this is disgusting. Oh, farted in a Nalgene. Remember the old Nalgene bottles, like the hiking bottles that you and they had the screw the screw cap on. Yeah. So he farts in this Nalgene bottle. And Sean loved this place called Pita Pit, and he mm-hmm. got Pita Pits all the time. And they were Pita terrible. Pita you remember Pita Pit? Yeah. There's one farts in this Nalgene bottle because our one buddy Sean, other buddy Sean, also always drank out of this stupid Nalgene bottle. He farts in it, closes it up. And there's this little bit of water in there. Five minutes later, brutal. Sean opens it to refill it. Hits him in the face and he pukes into the oh, Nalgene bottle. Oh, oh, oh. That's awful. <laughs> Some, oh. Somebody's on the Collider video chat here asking yeah. about the story at the episode eight premiere. Is there a story? The, was there a fart story? Somebody fart in the limo? I don't think so. You got a limo it? fart? I wasn't there. there. So I don't know. I, I wasn't there. That's so an enclosed so space. Yeah, I don't know. You've the always story. been farting in the back of this limo? Somebody, Not sure uh, what the story is. Yeah, somebody. Ask him to, to clarify, but we're actually going to move on from right. farts in space. Sinead, your yeah. baby's got to fart all the time, right? Yeah. 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 He okay. farts all the time. He loves one. it. He thinks it's hysterical. Yeah, it's a good one. Well, I like that you just you dispelled this myth. You're over there. Yeah, you got to get that out. I'm sure, you know, like, oh, girls don't fart. and no, I it's not lady. Yeah. yeah well, in fr- yeah. It's, F that noise. Well, no, it's no. it's probably it's it is it it's is. It's better for me to like start any relationship, being like, by the way, I do I do poop. Yeah. And right. I do fart. Right. Just yeah. so we're clear. That's how you pitch yourself. Yeah. yeah. That's right. And I think when, when you, you get a whole bunch right of, in front of her on a whole bunch of girls like together and like sleep over, it's like a garbage dump if you walk in there. It's it's atrocious. <laughs> and I'm sure when Sinead says that, they beat it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I fart. Oh well, then <laughs> no, <laughs> thank you. I'm out. <laughs> and a wrinkled shirt. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. All right, so that's that's a, that was a good conversation. Just imagine Beardo looking at all the fart sound effects he has. Like oh, he's, he's so happy. Professor X in Cerebro, just like yeah. this one and this one and this he one. He was leaving his house with like all the like with this big smile on his face, running through the streets, like so happy that today he was going to be able to be the most involved he ever was in this show for all the farts he was going to do. Put up the fart signal. Yeah, perfect. Uh, good job. All right, so that's that's it. That's everything in the, in the world of farts. <laughs> now we're, now we're going to move on over, Brett. Get on up, my man, because oh, now shit. it's it's your time to shine. Brett is going to go head outside. We're going to go check in with Frank and everybody from around the office. You with, feel energized? With I feel Brett. great. I, this is really good. And go I, the young, I ate the I had the veal of coconut, young coconut. All right, in get there. out of here. Um, so Riley, what's a oh. uh, t- Riley? Do some checks on uh, Twitter and see if the, what the fans are saying. Hashtag are collider these the ones that he needs. No, no, we need those. We need those. And I'll tell you. We have later. a great chat going where they're replacing the word "fart" in uh, movie titles. So good. that's good. You I know. love that. Oh, that's brother, where fart thou? <laughs> Perfect. That's a good one. Back to the farcher. Yeah. yeah. Every time Riley talks about the chat room, he sounds like a beleaguered father uh, who's like, "Yep." A bunch of fourteen-year-olds are having a sleepover. He's like, "Well, the kids are upstairs well, well, having a farting kind." Well, we encourage them on this one. So that's yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is on okay. us. This is the, we asked them to do this. This is, this is on. We them. get it from it's, you, Dad. Yeah, and this is and it's perfect. <laughs> Learned it by watching you. Hashtag that's the show. Um, and speaking of that's a show, go on over to Apple Podcasts and make sure that you are going to the Collider Live feed. Subscribe there. Leave a review. If you leave a review, tomorrow you have a chance to win. We're giving away three copies of Avengers Infinity War. So if you want to get a copy, go ahead and subscribe. And by the way, make sure that you're listening to us on Apple Podcasts or on Podcast One for if you're listening on Android because – very important, and especially if you're – it's a two-hour show, Monday through Wednesday. So if you're taking a ride somewhere and you want to listen, that's how you do it. Riley, in the bathroom? Riley, you're cracking up. <laughs> uh, 
What do you got? <laughs> well, lots of fart talk. Okay, what do so, you got? We got it. Okay, so. Brave farts? Uh, oh, my brave uncle, fart. my oh, uncle loves fart. telling the story of my father clearing the top row at Lambeau Field with one of his massive <laughs> farts. Dude, a, a, a Midwestern bratwurst All fart? the cheese, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of farts, have you seen the video of the guy that recorded his farts every day at work and got fired from it? Oh, it's amazing. No, but I'm going to look that up. Yeah, yeah, it's probably me. <laughs> do you yeah. ask your employer for like a letter of recommendation? Like, right. <laughs> Bill's what is a great that? worker. The it, farts, on the other hand. Look at that. Look at that. Look like when look you that get, mug. Yeah, when you get like written up for farts. Yeah, <laughs> too much farting. All right, oh, so boy. let's. So we're setting up. We right. should just keep farting stuff. This is really funny. It's really good. Well, I don't want to. The do healthier you eat, the worse your fart smell. Oh, it depends on what you eat. Taught me that. Yeah. Absolutely. The healthier you eat, like the more greens you eat. Yeah. The yeah. Broccoli. The broccoli fart. will crush it. Vegan yeah. farts. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. You know. Thanks. All right. So we're gonna move in here, Brett. Brett, you ready to go or not yet? Oh, just getting the mic. I don't know if Frank's here. I don't know where he went. Are you are you wiping people out over there on your editing bay when they're walking by? Oh, like as a fart? <laughs> yeah. Wiping people as a fart? Out. I mean, yeah, you wipe people. <laughs> maybe. Out. Yeah. yeah. I've got my Taco eye on. Tuesday. Tuesday. Like the frosty few... comes over to give you notes, you're taking them out. Oh, right? I'm looking at a few throats. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah. yeah. That's from yesterday. That's, That's a, a fun game to play. Like, who in the office do you think would be most offended if to you blast just went out? Up to their, went up to their desk and just ripped one. I think Frosty would, 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 would a thousand literally percent. leave. Yeah. <laughs> a thousand percent. <laughs> I think I ripped one next to Bibiotti once at a screening. I mean, that, 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 he I, might have I, deserved I, it. I think he deserved you know? it. Yeah. yeah. All right. If, um, he was, if he was, he was I know he's listening, so sorry, well. Bibs. It it's down the worst place is the airplane because you can't do anything about it. No, that's yeah. the, see, that's that's not nice. No, no. that's rude. That's not nice. All right, Brett, Brett, you're out there. See, app, eat. Yeah. That's what I hear. All right, Brett. Let's, oh, there let's, we go. Let's start with Frank. Uh, That's Frank, what we're doing. Frank's Frank is not here today. Yeah, Frank's not here. Well, that makes me yeah. sad. What happened to Frank? Really walking in. To I is think he, he heard about the bit. Oh, is he is he in Fernandez's office? Uh, they couldn't track him down. Is that true? Or are they trying to protect him? Is he hiding in the in the the war room? That's true. I don't know. Yeah, good. Just do it. That conference room's a great place I, to hide. I could see if my kid, I could catch him playing video games. Well, no, I actually, wanted, let's go talk to Dorian, because we didn't have Dorian Oh, in. Dorian, yeah. So let's talk to Dorian. We'll go walk and talk oh, to Oh, Frank's in here? Where's Frank? Oh, Thad? Oh, Dorian does, oh, he's trying to pass the, no, I don't want to hit. <laughs> uh, why didn't we bring Dorian in? Well, no, we, we, don't have, we, we didn't have a chance to do it, because we oh, had a fart I'm, conversation. I par- apologize, we ran out of time to do your thing, we, we were talking about. Farts. <laughs> that should make you feel better. <laughs> we'll do it tomorrow. I'm gonna go watch Brave Heart tonight. Priorities. All right, so let's do. Uh, Dorian, we're gonna do a couple things here too. We're gonna uh, we're gonna throw out a movie, and you're gonna tell us whether or not you've seen it or not. We're gonna talk. About, don't don't uh, Brett. Don't let him hear the movie that we're gonna say yet. Bring them closer because we're in the mic again. All right, yeah. so Dorian, just yeah, have Dorian closer. All right. All right. So let's. So don't let him hear the movie. He's a tall, tall gentleman. All right. So I'm gonna bring up. I'm gonna say. He's quite tall. All right. So I want to get from everybody here. Don't ask in the movie yet. All right. Okay. I'm gonna say Back to the Future. I'm gonna say that he has not seen. Back to really? the really? What do you say? Yes. You say he has. He says. What do you think, Shanae? Oh, I feel like you would have seen that one. A thousand percent, yes. All right, Riley? Yes. And, okay, so what are the chat chat room? Whether they've seen it. All right, ask him if he's ever seen Back to the Future. Have you ever seen Back to the Future? Bro, I knew Christian was going to ask me this, and no, I haven't. Yes! Oh, no it Was that way. insider info? Did you I know? swear to God, yeah, I didn't. He, I said I, he said he knew Christian was going to ask because me Because I, yeah. I brought up Back to the Future today on this. Yeah, on this. I swear to God. I swear to God. Pool. I swear to God, I had I'm no idea. i fart. No, one, oh, I, pro- I promise you, I've never talked man. to him about it. Bathtub right. fart right there. Uh, Sinead, bring up a movie that you think he probably had to have seen. Had to have seen? Yeah, what movie do you think? Now. Is there a time? Is is there a year? No, you just cla- a classic movie. movie that most people you think most like Back to the Future. You know that that's one. Like, what do you got? Well, that's what Shani, I was going to say. Then I was like, had to have seen. I don't know if he had to have seen that. Well, I was it. actually going to say Clueless. No way. But uh, I no I don't chance. know. I I don't mm. even know so if I believe go? that he'd see. He'd All right, see. I'll get I that one. Where I'll get. Have you have you seen Clueless? I have not seen Clueless. Ooh okay, okay, yeah, so it's man, it's right. not going good. How about Ellis? What do you got? Um. Because no comic movies. He's seen every. He's seen every comic movie. Yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I know how the games play. Yeah. Uh, I would say. Do you know any movies, Mark? I'm going to say Jaws. <laughs> Jaws. No way he's seen Jaws. Jaws. No, he hasn't no, seen Jaws. Hold on, let's Jaws see. Either. Uh, well, oh. we got to wait for everybody. Wait for everybody to, to oh. guess first, bro. Well, you didn't tell me that. Yeah, all right, so, all right, so he hasn't seen Jaws. He hasn't seen Back to the Future. Riley. Uh, like what movie? What movie? Uh, we're playing also, he's right outside the door, so don't scream it either. All right, good. So, hey, you know what? Um, let's get the chat room to bring up some movies, too. I'm, I'm going to say MacGruber. No, mm. no, no. I got a good one. I got a good one. Yeah. Uh, Batman 1989. Okay. Okay. So this is kind I'm going to say, I'll say he, yes. I, I think he has seen it. All right. Yeah, I think so, too. You think he's seen it? No.
No. Wow. 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 One one from Makuga. Wow. Do you mind me asking point. how old you are? I'm 23. 23. All right. All right. Uh, audience? Uh, audience gave me a good one. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Men in Black, and I'm going to say Raiders of the Lost Ark. That was a big one. Uh, okay. Big one. Raiders of the Lost Ark. What do you say? No. Do you yeah. want to expand it to any Indiana Jones movie? That's probably yeah, good. Any Indiana Jones movie. All right. Yeah. All I, think right. He's, I think he's seen I think, at least um, one. I think, I think he has. Yeah, I'm going to keep, yeah, I'm gonna gonna go keep riding it. I'm going to say one, at least one Indiana Jones. Okay. Sinead, any Indiana Jones movies? Sinead seems like she was no. really soured by no. the Batman. Same. All right, so no. Sinead and Ryan say no. We Personally, say All right, ask him, Brett, ask him if he's ever seen any Indiana Jones All right, movies. Have you seen any of the Indiana Jones movies? Yeah, I've seen the one with uh, Shia LaBeouf. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It counts, it counts. All right, so Crystal yeah. Skull is the only one you've seen? Yeah, but you, but you got the point. Counts, so you got but the it point. It doesn't really. Yeah. All right, so McCool. Okay, so uh, I got a good one here. I got, I got, I got a good the, one also. The, the, the greatest action movie of oh, all yeah. time. I'm with you. Uh, die Hard or will accept any Die Hard movie in the franchise? <sighs> I say no. the first one. I say the first one. You got to go with the first one. I mean, come on. All right, it's just Die Hard 1. I think he has not seen it. He has. I want it. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes because I because if not, go I'm with your head, not, I'm not gonna, your heart. <laughs> I'm gonna throw him out by the seat of his pants if he hasn't seen this one. What do you say? I don't think so. Right? No? no. All right, Die Hard. One. All right, here we go. Come on, Dorian. Die Hard One. Nope. Oh, oh man! Come on, oh, man! man. Boom! Can, oh, can I tell you how brother. refreshing this actually is? Because we get to have Dorian. It kind of take like a master class in pop culture yeah. film. He is getting to see these movies that we have watched hundreds of times for the very first yeah. time. No. And I got to tell you, I have Shit. never, I've never been more jealous of somebody younger than me yeah. before this moment. Maybe Sergio a Garcia a little bit when he was battling <laughs> Tiger. Chat room got any more good ones? Uh, yeah, Terminator Two. Ooh, All Terminator right. Two. Terminator 2. Don't, don't, don't ask me a pro. Wait, I'm think, not going to ask him. I think yes. I say yes on Terminator 2. Yeah. Yes, Makuga. Yeah, I think so, too. Riley no. says no. All right, Terminator 2. All right, Terminator 2. No. Oh. Mm. Wow. Okay, at this point, There's what have you seen? Yeah. You know, he is he is making me feel better. Yeah, I know. Wow. I mean, the people attacked me <laughs> for... <laughs> Cops are just throwing across the How about, how about The Rock? All right. All right, that's a good one. Don't ask me. What do you think? Uh, what do you think? I'm going to say no, no. chance. No chance. Know what that is? Yeah. What? <laughs> Welcome to the Rock. Sorry, yeah, there's guys. no chance. If he hasn't seen Terminator Two, he hasn't seen the Rock. Yeah, he's loving this, by the way. You could. Uh, 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 is he on camera? So the ro- the yeah, the the Rock. There's no chance. The Rock. All right, the Rock. He's gonna think it's the, the actor. Not the actor. It's a film. Oh, then no. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm, asking, I'm asking like mine. Last one. Last one. Lord right. of the Rings. I, I like the I like the Men in Black pool too. Oh, Men in Black. All right, oh, first okay. Men in Black. I think. Right. The, does it have to be the first one? Yeah, first one. All right. First Men in Black. No, movie. don't. I've seen all the Men in Black. Thank Sorry, you. Listen. Thank you. He's uh, Brett Blewett. Oh, one That's, time. I was gonna say yes. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say. Yeah. I was gonna say yes. All right, all right. So tell Dorian we have a lot for. He, tell him he's got to watch all those movies he didn't see. He's got to watch all of them. You no, have wait, to watch wait, all of those the, by you tomorrow. Do Lord of the Rings? <laughs> <laughs> all right. What? We do the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, we'll do one more. Tell him we got one more for him. Oh, all those films you have to watch by tomorrow. Yeah, every yeah. single one. And, of them. and and one more. Tell me, tell, they, tell me of one more for him. This is our closer. One more, right, and right. I'm gonna sh- shut my just, mouth just and just say, boss. All right. So any of the Lord of the Rings films? Do the Hobbit movies count? No. 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 This has to be the classic Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yeah. yeah. The, the, what do you say? Any of the Lord of the Rings? No, I don't think so. Yes, Riley. No. No. <coughs> Ellis. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. All right, go ahead, bro. All right, here we go. Any of the Lord of the Rings movies? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it right. could go bad quick. He mic dropped that right, one, though. That you, was Dorian. a good recovery. Right, thank, thank you, you Dorian. All right, so, all right, Brett. Um, let's see, what time is it? We're going to send Brett over to the movie theater. Yeah, yeah, we got about, uh, we got about like, 25 minutes left in the show. All right, let's send him over. Let's send him over to the movie theater. Brett, go gonna, to the movies. Go to the movies. And now we're going to we're gonna send Brett over to the movies, but let's take some uh, hashtag Collider Live, get some um, comments from the fans, anything that they want to talk about there. But, I mean, we got to send, that kid's got to watch a lot of shit. That's really sad. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really saddened. Like, it beca- like people always ask you, they're like, "Hey, if you meet a, like a potential mate, you know, if you're on like a first date, what's the movie that you would get pissed off that they haven't seen?" I don't get pissed off at anybody they haven't seen a movie. I would get pissed off at somebody if they saw a movie and didn't like it, perhaps. But the biggest movie for me like that is Back to the Future. Like, if you don't like Star Wars for whatever reasons, I get why you may not be in, that into Star mm-hmm. Wars. Mm-hmm. I, I don't agree with it, but Back to the Future is a movie that is just so fun. I can't imagine somebody not having a good time with that movie. Right. Well, you know, yeah. the thing, we're going to, well, I want to revisit this in like a month, right? And then we Give don't. Give him some time. We, yeah. We don't tell the audience which, or we don't tell each other which ones he's watched yet, right? So then 
in a month. Should we give him a, like a list so he doesn't yeah, we forget? Yeah, we, we give him a list. We give him a list, and then, then we, we play. predict yes. which movies he wrote. Like, like we have him rank like yes. his ten fa- like mm. the top ten, and we have it. to pick which ones he th- we think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so that's that's, that's our like goal. A sum, like a summer reading list, yeah, you know? something like that, and we can guess which ones he's actually watched from the list, and okay. then we can guess how he ranks. Holy them, shit, so. Dominic yeah. Monaghan's going to be in episode nine. Mm-hmm. Did you not know that? And then they just and Matt Smith also. This is how I learned the movie from us. I usually learn the movie news at two thirty p.m. Yeah, that's good. Um, and then I deliver it like I knew it. My Riley, you got some. You got some hashtags for us. Uh, I'm I'm waiting for it to uh, update from the what he hasn't seen and farts. They're still going okay. on the farts. Uh, okay. But let me ask you this: it's um, a lingering fart. It's a lingering. It's a lingering. Fart. Yeah, Dorian and Ken Napsok are BFFs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, Ken. Ken has seen way more movies than Dorian. Yeah. Uh, d- just Ken a statement. Holes. Just a statement here. Uh, ball shaving and fart talk are the only two of many reasons to watch Collider Lock. Thank you. Yeah. See, so. I would say the only two. Probably. I would. The only. What, everything what did else. You say? The Go first part? Else. Ball shaving. Oh, Ball shaving. God. You missed that episode. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Uh, you, you don't, Nazi want, that you don't want somebody groomed? Of course, but I don't want to talk about it. Well, we talked yeah. about it in, in depth on Monday. Hey, look, it's something it's every mother is eventually going to have to... What's your kid's name? Harrison. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Harry. All right. Can I have to have that conversation? <laughs> well, we, you don't want to be Harry, Harry. No, it's, One it's of his fine. friends at school will be like, yo, Harrison, you got to start shaving your nuts. And he's like, cool, yeah. I'll do it. You just got to be careful. I, nobody yeah, ever had that conversation like with me in school. about it because the idea of it is terrifying. To yeah, me. you got to be careful. Nobody literally ever, ever. I, maybe I'm from Virginia. I'm just a yokel from Virginia. Nobody ever was like, "Hey, Ellis, you don't shave your ball." Like we never had that conversation. <laughs> right. Until basically until Christian brought it up last week, I didn't even know it was like a thing that I should be doing. I listen. I again. I t- it that's feels false better. because we talked about it on threes too much one time. You're like, yeah, that's probably right. Yeah. 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 All I right. just like nobody's ever complained. So. Ha- well, not to your face. Hashtag crying <laughs> alive. They had other things to complain about. Nothing? Right. I, this is what I did to Riley. I said, Riley, Aww. hashtag Collider Live. This is what Riley did. Looked at the Twitter and went like this. Yeah, yeah I'm just. just there's, there's, I'm there's sorry just I brought so up There's so many yeah. farts. I mean, this is this is going to be going on for for days. Is, well, yeah. Uh, le, okay, let's start here. Both. <laughs> so many farts. I think, I think maybe we should. We should it's like a 4th of should, July party. Let's keep the fart talk to Wednesday because by. Because <laughs> fart then, talk. Collider fart talk. Because tomorrow they're going to be talking about farts too. So keep it to Wednesday because then it gives them like five days. To let the fart dissipate. Oh, uh, you know you're gonna see it in, in movie talk, and you're gonna see it. It's gonna be all over the place now. Oh, Although, please put that seed in their heads. That's well. That's what I want. The Collider Live, Collider Live audience is gonna be very similar to the Schmoes audience. So if you watch, if you're like, what we've realized so far is like just right now between thirty or forty thousand people watching daily, right? And that's the hardcore that I take it over. Take it over to other shows. Have fart talks everywhere. Like why not do about ball shaving? Talk about farts. Talk about whatever you want. It's the one thing I think movie talk could use is an even filthier chat room. I think yeah. that. that would really help. Well, it's just the, too damn Maybe clean the farts, ironically enough, can clean it up. I still can't believe nobody <laughs> told you to shave your balls. No. Yeah. You've lived your entire adult life thinking that you weren't supposed to be doing that. It's just, it's, it's just it's, nice for everyone. To quote the bus driver yeah. and Mrs. Doubtfire, that's just the way God made you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Natural. That's good quote. Right. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Riley, don't nod at the comments. No, 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 no. Okay. Here, I got uh, a... <laughs> you know, He's not allowed to nod at the comments. No, when I ask him, don't you be nodding at those comments. I'm no. waiting for the farts to update. All right? All right. So here, listen. Rocky Drago, he asked, because Venom and Predator, the marketing campaign's not getting uh, some good reactions. Right. Uh, which one of them is going to underperform? Venom. Or Predator? Mm. Or Predator. Nah, Predator. Uh, yeah, you're right. My Venom. Yeah, Venom. Venom. <laughs> Venom will, will do better than Predator. Mm, well, Venom. underperform relative to, you know why? Each other or in like kind of like. I think Venom's going to be the more underperforming movie simply because I don't think Predator has nearly as high of a bar to hit as Venom. Venom Spider Man's yeah, like, I know. Anti-hero. Yeah, but that's, I mean, but that's too. I mean, yeah. No, totally. if you're associated with that universe at all, I guess know. what? You get all the baggage associated with that. Predator just has to live up to Predators and Predator that's Two. That's the problem, though. I think that as far I'm looking at box office overall, I think <laughs> you know, that's the that to me is going to be the underperforming. I think it's going to be close. I think I think Venom will do better, and I think because Predator to me, they've had a lot of shots. This one, the premise of the kid and everything too, which I don't know. I want it to be good. I love Shane Black. I love. I want that series to return to form. Um, but I just don't know if it will, and I think Venom looks cool. Both marketing campaigns okay. been very. Eh. All right, so I, we're gonna we're gonna move on. We'll move on here too because I do want to talk here. Look at these lists. I want everybody to look here. <laughs> Brett. All right, thank you, Beardo. Brett is on the phone. Brett, are you at the movie theater? Brett, are you there? Brett. Hello, Brett. Brett Sheridan. Hey. Hey. Hey, Brett. Oh, sorry, I just. Uh... 
Do you, yep. You, now, now I'm out. I'm on. All right. Yeah, you're on. Okay. So we all right, here. All right. the, here are the list of the movies, and we're going to let the audience play along too. So the way we're going to do this is, everyone's going to put in a dollar, and we are going to. That's how you buy into the pool. All right. So you put in a dollar, and we're going to guess. Uh, Brett's going to go up to somebody and ask them what what movie they're going to see. We're going to guess what they're going to see. If your movie does not get picked, you are knocked out of this round. And if you, you the pool the pool will keep going up for every time you get it correct until there's one person standing. Does um, Brett uh, tell us? He's going to tell. He's going to let us know who the people are. Yeah, the people yeah, are. Yeah, he's going to break down what kind of people he, he's he's talking to. So here are the movies. Here are the movies that these people could see. Okay, we're going to take out. Oh, Rudy's playing there? Yeah, I was, I was just going to say, Rudy in 2001. We're going to take out Rudy, and we're going to take out the Meg, because they don't start until later on. So Rudy uh, it starts at 2 o'clock, and the Meg starts at 3 Black Klansman so. first showing at 1 Slen- p.m. Slender Man, Papillion, uh, Mission Impossible Fallout, Mile 22, The Happy Time Murders, The Day After Valentine's, Crazy Rich Asians, Christopher Robin, Black Klansman. No, that's 1 o'clock also. That's out. Uh, was it Axel or AXL? And Ant Man and the Wasp. That's, the That's crazy. Alpha and 2001: a Space Odyssey. All right. So Brett, um, you're looking at somebody right now. Who are you looking at to approach? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to grab somebody. In that amount of time, you said that the 40 people walked by, and now there's nobody. Um, uh-huh. let me, are you going to the movies? Who is who, today? Are you seeing yeah. the movie today? I'm on a radio program here. We're just doing a little survey on what people are seeing in the don't, afternoon on Tuesday. To oh, out. he's trying to figure it out. Okay. Maybe. Well, let's see. Let's let's take a bet. What does he look like? Who is he? Uh, here, let me. You want to talk to these guys? You're live. You, you're not being filmed or anything. It's just on the radio. You tell them about yourself and just tell them what you're trying to decide between their professional movie reviews. So they can help you out. Don't don't tell. Hey, don't tell us the movie yet, though, sir. Okay. Hello. Hey, don't tell us the movie yet, sir. What you're thinking about taking? But um, can you describe yourself? Well, uh, so we so we can try to guess. We're gonna try to guess what movie that you want to see. So we're we're having a little game here. So what, what can you describe yourself to us? Uh, let's see. Uh, well. Hmm. Can't I love the Lord. I like working out. I like hanging out with people, playing music, songwriting. Okay. Uh, nice. Chilling with family, playing basketball. I like. This Let specific. me ask you this: If you could compare uh, yourself to one celebrity, what celebrity do you most look like? Oh, I like that. Oh, people say LeBron James. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. So then, all right, all right, sir. So we're gonna. You have very nice friends. Yeah. So we're gonna guess. All right. So let's uh, let's let's. If you don't mind giving the uh, the phone back to our buddy over there for a second, I'm gonna go ahead. Sure. I'm gonna guess. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna what guess. Do you get? What do you uh, think? I'm gonna guess that he's taking. Now the we happy, don't know what he's trying to decide. Happy between, time right? murders. You've got a few you're looking at. I'm okay. taking happy time murders. I'm taking Mission Impossible Fallout. Okay, Sinead. I'm going with the Happy Time Murders as well. Okay. The Meg. Meg, you can't, Riley? You can't see the Meg yet. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Never mind. Crazy Rich Asians. Okay. Uh, no, Meg is one of them. Oh, but you mean it's not on yet. Yeah. yeah it's not on. Uh, I'm going to go mile 22. Okay. All right. So we can't hear from the boys out there because the mics aren't working. All right. So, so let's see. Let's see. If he, has he picked something yet? Have you picked something yet or did you? Oh, he he missed Alpha. So if that gives you an idea what his first okay. one he was going mm, for, all right. So let's maybe see maybe each one of us should get like thirty seconds to pitch our movie of choice and why he should go see that movie. Well, let's see. Yeah, does he want does he want some help? Do you want some help, or you, do you want a, them to guess what you're thinking of? I want something that challenges me. He wants something that challenges him. All right, oh, challenges! Tom well, Cruise almost lose. died Definitely making Mission Impossible Fallout. Yeah, I think that. we're gonna lose. Mile twenty two. Well, two thousand one. Spa- two thousand one. A space if, odyssey. If he's you never think seen cha- it. a challenge could be marrying into a very rich he Asian family? Think, Perhaps he, crazy rich Asians think. is for you. Mm. Uh, let's let's see. Uh, tell him tell him to choose. <laughs> oh, he still he still can't decide. All right. Okay. All right. Move on. He's Brett. making my job hard here. <laughs> I, mile twenty two is <sighs> one. That I think that they were suggesting you that is, this, is that is that one going to make him think. He said the reviews haven't been good. Yeah, no, they haven't yeah, been yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, Brett, tell him Mile 22 is going to make him think I should have gone to see Mission you don't, Impossible. We can't encourage, we can't encourage him. Okay. Just let, let him. Let him pick. No, no. Let him pick on his own because that's... Oh, that. he, I, you got to... See, this is this game just switched on it. Yeah. You, we were just supposed to find out somebody that want to see a movie. Tell him those puppets are hysterical. <laughs> All right. If you decide, I'm going to grab somebody else. If you decide, hit me up. All right, so All right, who are you I'll looking at? So tell us, couple, who you, tell us who you're looking at. A couple. I've got a uh, we've got an old, older ones. couple of ladies and an uh, an Asian woman here, oh. and they're just about to get their tickets, and I'll try to get the older like, couple. Get the them. older couple. Uh, it's two women. All right, get the two. And there are get the two women. I'd say 
Probably about uh, a thousand percent. Yeah. Uh, I won't say. But <laughs> all right, fine. So you should never get, guess a woman. All right, ask, but, ask the two. But, uh, older than my mother. All right, ask the ask the two ask the two women if they can if they'll play along. <laughs> Okay, well, they're still getting their ticket. I've got, I think the... All right, so let's see if we can get some... Whoever gets, gets first. If he gets the women. I'm going to say Mission Impossible for the women. Ask going. him if they farted this today. Was, I'm going for the women. I'm yeah, going Mission we'll Impossible. I'm oh, here's two guys that have a ticket. Are you guys going to the movie today? Yeah. Can I ask you what you're seeing? I've got a, a younger gentleman. Like? Are you... Uh, it's your father or... Yeah? All right, so he, he gave it to me already, so I'm not going to tell him what you said, but uh, okay, what, what do you think what these are guys are they, are they look, So what are they? So it's a gentleman and his son? Just... A gentleman and his son, you're probably about a little, little younger than me. All right, he told me already they're going to take off. They, they really enjoy talking to me. Oh, here's my lady friend. Hello, we just got to do a little survey. What do you see today this afternoon? Okay, so. Uh, all right, all right so, what do you think it is? I got what it is. All right, I'm going to go Mission Impossible for the two ladies. Shanae, what do you got? The two ladies that are older than your mom, yeah. Brett? Yeah. Those two? Yeah, what do you got? Yes. It's definitely going to be crazy, crazy rich Asians. Me okay. too, crazy rich Asians. Crazy rich Asians. Everyone crazy else? rich Asians. Okay, um, Brett? Uh, back, by the way, both of those, all four of those people look like I just farted in their elevator. <laughs> Perfect. When I asked them questions. All right, so what, what, what was the answer? What are they oh, seeing, Oh, what Brett? is the answer? Mission Impossible. Yes! Yes! Whoa. Fuck you all! What the hell? This Thank is, you. This so, is staged. so much. This, this is, is not, that was completely... This, is, this, this whole game is rigged. Mm-hmm. See, we, every time I hurt. win... Every, I did not hear. Can we go back every to the footage? Every time I win... Did they you said say it with such confidence. You guys are such scumbags. You heard him say... Christian, if there's an angle, you'll take it. You're going to tell me right now, you 100% believe that two women... 100%. Older than Wes Mom... And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Tom Cruise... Is number one. Number two, the movie has been out for a while now. And the movie has been out for a while, and they don't want to hit crowds. That's exactly why I picked Mission Impossible. Oh, shit. T- and I'll tell you right now. Do you run a focus group? I'll tell you right now that I was scared when you said Crazy Rich Asians. I said, they're right. And I, I went with my gut, and I went Mission Impossible, right, and I'm man. glad I did. So Christians. F you guys for not believing in me. Right. So I won the game because no one else picked Mission Impossible. Well, I, st- I want to know what, uh, what, what the what, gentleman. What, the, yeah, what, what did the gentleman phone? pick? Oh, they said Mission Impossible as well. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. That's me. No, no, no. The gentleman. What did? The, what did? Like that was. The, that was the other guy. Pick their pocket. That was the dude. What did the gentleman pick? The guy who looks like LeBron. Oh no! He he took off on me. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Yeah. He's I quick. Was, quick. Was, yeah, all right. I think he just gave up. He just gave up. He didn't even see a movie. All right. So the ladies, yeah. the, the ladies want me some cash. So thank <laughs> you. LeBron started carrying dead weight. A, a, a woman want to and her daughter, I believe, coming up real you quick. Want to do another? All right. This is a new, this is... new game. Oh, I hope this uh, one's happy. All right. Let's so real quick. Can I ask you what you're seeing today? I'm on a radio program. Oh, all right. Did you hear that or no? Did not hear. Did you guys hear it? Anybody hear it? No, I did not hear. It's a woman or younger daughter, probably seven, eight years old. Okay, seven or eight. And again, everybody wants to get a. Away from me as soon as possible. I know that. Seven, eight years old, Christopher Robin. <laughs> Seven or eight? Christopher Robin. What right. you, we got him off? Hold on. No, no, no. <laughs> is it a, is it, you said it's a mom and her daughter? Yeah. I would I yeah, would have said yeah, Alpha, probably. but it seems like the, the screening has just started for that. So yeah. they're... they're I, I'm going to... I'll say I, Alpha. The alpha? could be a little older. Maybe okay. nine, ten. All right, so Ellis saying Alpha. Makuga? Yeah, the, the other one. Al- Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin. Sinead? Between Christopher Robin and Ant Man. Well, yeah, actually, I want to change my answer to Ant Man. Ant Man. Okay. Uh, yeah, Ant-Man. I'm gonna go with Ant Man. Ant Man. Ant Man. Okay, I'm got. I got Christopher Robin. I'm gonna go Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. And who I is? said uh, the, uh, the Christopher Robin. So only yeah. Makuga and I have Robin, and then these two have Mission Impossible. What is the answer, Brett? Ant Man for the win. Wow. Nice, Sinead. Wow. Nice move. Dude. Nice move. Okay. So okay, can I tell you something? Uh, yeah. Sinead and I actually did cheat. Those are my kids. That's my wife. Right. Thank you. That is definitely not true. <laughs> yeah, that app worked out fast. Yeah. All right, cool. I right. in front of her all, all the time. Right. I think that was good. That was good. So, Brett, um, why don't you see? Uh, why don't you have this conversation with somebody uh, that's coming out here? Ask them. Ask them if the why they're going to see the movie they're going to see. We don't have to play the game right now. Just ask them what they're going to see. Ask them why. See if you can get them. See how long you can keep them for a conversation. I, like that I game. say. I say fifteen seconds. <laughs> that are out. So we want to try yeah, to... I mean, it must be right before these ones are started because a lot of people are yeah. beelining it for the escalator. Well, follow right them. Now. Follow them up. I got a couple. Of, I got a couple of gentlemen here. Yeah, and just ask real how... quick, gentlemen. Keep... Are you are you deciding on a film, or do you do you know what you're seeing right now? And and if so, why are you seeing it? I'm on a radio program. Just you're not being filmed or anybody. It's not hidden camera. I'm just getting a survey. Got some extra time, and they're looking. Do you want some professional movie reviewers to give you a suggestion? 
Okay. No, nope, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ask him some more. See how long you can keep him keep him there before they want you to leave. That looks interesting to me. He said there's nothing that looks interesting. He's not wrong. Does he not like swearing? He, now they're gonna go do something else. Now they're hitting uh, Chipotle maybe or something. <laughs> I don't know what else. Pinkbury. <laughs> Here's a couple Pink of guys Bernie. coming out send them over in here. Chipotle and see if, if there's people. That... Uh, Brett, ask them if you it? can join them for lunch. Yeah. And they're they're running. All I mean, right. as fast as these guys sh- can run. All right, I got cool. three That's younger the bulk dudes coming up here. People though, like, like a couple more like, for the same company. No, it's all right. We can bring you. We can oh. bring you back. Bring people you back show up to the theater, oh, and can? most people yeah, are like, "Oh, there's a Han Solo movie yeah, out." Yeah, come back like, now. It's not yeah. this. It's most well, people are just like, "Let's see what's." Well, they literally go to the theater, yeah. and they're like, "What's playing well, once we get but there?" But isn't that crazy? That's uh, again why I picked uh, Ant Man. Though that was a good one. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have guessed that. Mission that. Impossible pull was deep. I'm telling you, you should be. You should be flattered that we all think you cheated. I, well, yeah. I'm telling you, I promise you, I did not cheat. Um, I just that that was my thinking behind it. But the Ant Man one, I wouldn't have got that. I wouldn't have gone. Yeah, I, I didn't know. even know he was still in the theaters. About, like, I thought the Christopher Robin the... was a lock yeah. at an eight at an eight year old. You, you, no, but you know what? Brett amended his his prediction. Yeah, he, he said, said nine, nine or, or ten. 10. And then I so I went from alpha so the kid's to eight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So if the kid was like nine or ten, I'm thinking, what ten year old is really Christopher? gonna go see Christopher oh, Robin? Really? I'm yeah. 44 and I want to see Christopher Robin. That's true. Right. Right. But, you know, you're too cool for school. But Brett, time. I am gonna. We These are gonna do. Today. I do want to start to do a, their sh- a shift though. Eventually, where I'm gonna send you into Chipotle to start like asking like people like you know what movies they're going to see, what movies they have seen, and stuff too. That's gonna go well. Yeah, yeah you know, I'm, I'm sure that'll go swimming. <laughs> I, I, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna yeah. give it a shot. Yeah, we'll, Christian. Uh, people going into a theater don't want to talk to me about movies. I'm sure people in restaurants are gonna love. Yeah, it. that's kind of part of the bit. <laughs> What it should be is, why are you having Chipotle at 11.30? Yeah, it's true. Why don't I walk into this furniture store? <laughs> ask him. Ask the person in the furniture store where the last movie is that they oh, saw. Oh, the furniture? No, yeah. that furniture store is like, is is like going out of business. So, yeah. they're they're out of business probably like seen a lot, then they've probably seen a lot of movies. I'd like to counter that with four years going out of business. Yeah, 80% yeah. off. 80% off, and it's still <laughs> overpriced. Yeah, all right. So what get, the hell? All right, you can hang up now. Um, all right, Brett's coming back in, and I've had my eye on a shelf there for like three years, and I'm just right. waiting for that for that two hundred dollar price drop, and they just will not do it. What my is, parents even said that place we've gone out of business for, for a long, long time. time. <laughs> what is what is going on? What is going on on Movie Talk today? By the way, uh, uh, wait, wait, uh, you're going to find out along with me. Uh, it looks like Dominic Monaghan is something. So is he in episode? <laughs> I, nine? I can tell. Or you guys he... not talked about that yesterday on, on Movie Talk? Though Dominic Monaghan. When, when did that break? Uh, that broke Friday. Well, Friday, yeah. so you guys didn't talk about it on what Movie Talk yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> why, why, did, why didn't we talk about it on Movie Talk? <laughs> How about this? Oh, all right. How um, did I not? I'm not the producer anymore. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh. I don't, I don't but know. I know what's on tap for today. Okay. If you'd like to know. Yeah, what's on tap? What do you got? Uh, cast uh, Matt Smith in key role for Star Wars. Okay. Uh, Black Adam producer uh, Garcia gives update on Dwayne Johnson's DC film. Okay. The Rotten Tomatoes announces changes to boost critic diversity. Oh, all right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, New Bad Times at the O Royale trailer teases Drew Goddard's twisty thriller. Wonderful. And uh, Not Safe for Work, new Hellfest trailer. Oh, good. That's what we have so far. All right. Uh, all yeah. right. Um, the Rock's making the rounds with the like the, the announcements of like all these upcoming projects he has. Because like they talked about Big Trouble in Little China yesterday, how it's a continuation. It's not a remake. Right. right. So, so, so he's like, he's fr- is, is that mean Kurt Russell's going to be in it? I, I they're hope so. They're saying they're trying. Okay, I, has, I haven't seen the original. I'm a Dorian on that. <gasps> I have not seen really? the original. Oh, man. Yeah. You he got some, uh, you, you got some. I got a lot of heat lot, yesterday. A lot of heat yesterday on it? Movie yeah. Talk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Including from me. Our Can buddy's we see Aaron if, if Sinead has seen Big Trouble Little China? No, but that's oh, see, man. but but that's different. You'd love that movie though. It's I, good. I would I would give him more shit for not seeing it because he was born in that time. Plus, like he kind of has like a Jack Burton vibe to him. Yeah. Well, see, I'm a huge Kurt Russell yeah, fan. Yeah, I, I worship the ground that him and Goldie oh, walk dude, on. And you miss yeah. and you miss that. That's that's one of his best. I performed for Goldie Hawn one time at the comedy you know, store. Jack All Burton I was thinking says at a time like, like this, right? If Kurt Who? Russell comes Jack in here, I'm going to lose my mind. Yeah, oh, well, we'll have Jamie Costa come in because he does a good Kurt Russell. Mm-hmm. All right, I Shin- think Goldie would have known the difference. Got yeah, I don't know. Sinead DeFries, <laughs> where can these people find you? Because what are you been doing? What, what's going on? Clever? What else? What's going on? Uh, yeah. I'm at, yeah. yeah, I'm at right. Clever. I, mean, I got a lot of stuff I'm working on right now. But okay. I'm online at Sinead DeFries, and at that's so Sinead.blog. Dot blog. You changed Whoa, it Whoa, you changed it. Nice. Wow. Okay. TV Talk fans' heads just exploded. All right. To check out everybody here, you know the characters, you know the cast of characters. Check out um, everyone on Twitter and make sure you follow everybody. Check out Movie Talk. TV Talk is coming in hot this Friday. This Friday. Wow. Sinead is not a permanent host 
yet. Right. Yeah, so if you could all stop tweeting me about it, it's really it really hurts. <laughs> yeah, but you but, really hurts. But you will be on the show. Tweets. You'll just come in every day, right. all day. You'll come in. Sinead will be in. We started. <laughs> Welcome back to TV Talk, Sinead. It's not it's not happening yet. Well, it's you can check TV Talk. You can get it on podcast form now. It'll be on the podcast YouTube channel. So the link is up. There. It's there. Yeah, and if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, you should do that. It's it's the Collider Podcast Network. Go and do that right now. Thirty five thousand strong and growing. Make sure you do that. And, and I will also say. Um, you know, they did a, a schmodown schmodown. Basically, all the history of the schmodown, they had a bunch of the fans kind of compete against each other. It's on the channel. They screwed this one kid, though. <laughs> this kid had a, had a question as far as, like, what um, in what special did uh, Bibiani and um, Whitney form? Oh, jeez. Yeah. It was a, and it was that the, is a tough. It was a tough. But the kid got it. He said the horseman special, but they didn't give it to him because he didn't have the exact name of the special. Wow. Like, ah, fuck that kid. I would be asked yeah. to leave the room. Yeah. I knew a lot of them. And I even I got stumped on some of them, too. Yeah. You really? I guess something on a few of them. Dang. Yeah, I guess something yeah, on a few. It's, yeah, it's, it's hard, a lot of but shit. it's good. It's a good one. <laughs> Test yourself out there and make sure again you check out on schmodownlive.com. Huge event happening at the El Portal Theater, 7 p.m. It's going to be in North Hollywood, and it is going to be our last show for a little bit. You got Dan Merle and John Roca going up against Stacey Howard and Winston Marshall, and then the main event, Jason Inman defending the title against Mara Kanopic in a five-round title match. Come and see it. There's going to be some fireworks going down. I'm I flying get back from Canada yeah. just to be there. Yeah, and then I get, right. and it's then true. after the show, you know what I do? I get on a red eye back to Canada <laughs> just for you. Just don't fart on the plane. Saturday All right, night. guys. See everybody in Atlanta this Friday. And we'll see you guys back here tomorrow. The Collider Live for the entire crew. Hashtag Collider Live. Win that Blu-ray for Avengers. Peace out.